Ey. Esa niña no se aguanta. Ey, quiere todo porque Lucy sabe a... Ey, how you guys freaking doing? We're back. We're back. And we have a very special guest with us. Dude, this is the coolest setup, no cap, like podcast wise <laughs> I've been on. This is really dope. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. Well, look, we got drinks and we got shots poured up already. And okay. So ass or titties? Um, Which one do you want to take? These are pretty big tits, so I'll take the tits right now. Okay, girl, you. Right. <sighs> that was a big no, ass No, that shot. was a big ass fucking shot, dude. <laughs> Mm -mm. all right no 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 that was way too crazy especially after last night i i don't know why i ended up that fucking lit no but i'm still recovering from my birthday party oh my god i'm still recovering from my birthday party because um i took a cleanse for 30 days (gasps) so i wasn't smoking or drinking or eating red meat and i kid you not i got well granted we i drank really really like quick like a lot yeah um so it hit me way faster, but I felt it. Oh I my felt God. it. But it's like Wait, yeah, that's insane. To do a thirty day cleanse and then boom, just just hit your body. Yeah. Your body was like, Hold on now. And it's not like <laughs> it, and, and it's not like like if you go out like for a night with friends, it's mm-hmm. like, you know, you're gonna get like um okay, if you if you go out by like seven or eight, you know, by eleven or twelve, you're gonna be on like on your third or fourth drink. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, yeah. this was start at eight by eleven, twelve it's like i don't know how many shots and alcohol has been in me at that oh point i've God. lost count so that's but, how but we're I, starting I can, I, yeah but i can hang i can hang so you like to hit the ground running because right now that shot you poured them and i'm not gonna lie i still have a little bit in here but i told you when you walked in your family can out drink me and can drink me under the table no yeah i'm known for you know i'm like rock star lifestyle i'm drinking tequila on stage i'm popping champagne uh-uh I, mis respetos yeah. <laughs> to you guys because what the fuck no yeah i've my, never hung out with anyone in your family and not ended up blackout fucking drunk yeah no like honestly with us i my, both my parents were were party animals so my genes they can handle alcohol pretty well i know jesus like God I, God know, bless. I kid you not like my my memories as a kid my mom would be performing and she would take i don't know how many shots on stage and be partying with her fans and after the show would still be like cognitive enough to count her money like oh my God. dollar bills like and not only once like three four times like my mom was a businesswoman so absolutely um that, dude and that i think you know what and i and i said this i've said this before and i'll say it again i'll always say it i think the reason that a lot of times i talk you know like for example to you like to your siblings or anything like that is because i'm a rapper i'm an artist and i have a son and i feel like there's not that many people that you can meet where like their parent was you know constantly touring and working and everything mm. and i'm like i do like to just hear the opinions because i want to do a good job as a mom so my Mm. questions always end up being how did you feel or like did you want her around more like you know just different things so that i could like try to do my best with my son Mm -hmm. see the difference between me and my siblings though is uh my mom was already becoming jenny Mm -hmm. when when i was born yeah so like my siblings had like just her as a mom as a mom yeah longer like i i was always very much interested in in her career and being involved in some type of way i was just very invested yeah and i was always on the road with her i loved i loved it but also at the same time like i did want to have like more time with my siblings mm-hmm. but something for sure we all felt is that my mom didn't know how to rest mm. you know what i mean so yeah, like shit, I feel so that. like she like it was very hard for her to go on vacation she's yeah. like what the fuck am i doing i need to be working or something mm-hmm. like that so we all felt that because um because I, I definitely wanted to like you know spend quality time with her as yeah. a kid mm-hmm. um but it was also hard for her to go to the movies because she would be answering emails like on her yeah. blackberry stuff like that it was just very hard for her to stay put but. yeah no i feel that and mm. and you know with my son i feel like he's like that like he likes the road like he's like you know he wants he gets his little pillow and he wants to go on the tour bus and he's like ready he's like i'm trying to travel but i'm like baby you gotta go to school um tomorrow i am taking him out of school we're gonna go um donate um boots and stuff to immigrant workers and stuff yeah. and it's like i want him to do like good deeds and stuff because uh, this is i'm like dude you need to relax he thinks he's like mr hustler like he wants to be the shoe plug and i'm yeah. just like dude like chill the fuck out you need to see some like real work <laughs> real funny. shit but um that's awesome but i mean look Obviously, everybody's going to ask you about your mom and your life and your family. But, like, let's talk about, like, you. Like, mm-hmm. obviously, what, what like, being queer, you said you both, what, like, what you, what was up? Like, tell me. Well, I, I always pretty much felt like I was bi. Mm-hmm. But it was always, um, 
especially like within the Latin community, they always thought, oh, you have to be like straight or gay. Mm -hmm. They it was very much they a lot of people don't believe in that. Like yeah. you, I I think especially like in the two thousands, a lot of people would say like that was a, a very selfish thing to do. Mm -hmm. But um, I've just always felt like that. Like I've I, I don't really feel like I've ever denied any emotions. Yeah. Or like anything any desires, um, because even before I understood what the concept of being straight or gay was, mm -hmm. I was already having crushes on both yeah. when I was a kid. I get that. So like, I'm like, you know, what would happen if just like those concepts didn't exist at all? Yeah. Like I would have, I would have just, um, I, I probably would have just swung both ways my whole life. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it wasn't until, um, I was, uh, I was, I was just like, I, I had drunk sex with the girl oh my God. When, when I was like 16, 17. Guys, I'm going to end TikTok just because oh, I think we're going to get a little, yeah, we're going to yeah. get a little, you know, more, you know, racy and shit. If you guys want to watch us live right now, you can go over to youtube.com slash everyday days. If not, you can wait for the podcast. It'll come out at some point, edit it or whatever. But right now, um, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. <laughs> Let's talk about it because we both been with both. So, yeah. all right. So, as I was saying, um, I had a, I had drunk sex with a girl when I was like 16 and oh, sure. and i and i called and i called my brother right after because i was like i i was in the middle of like also being in my first relationship mm -hmm. and i kind of cheated out of spite because i had gotten cheated on oh, okay if you want the full tea yeah. but um <laughs> i'm like oh shit but i called uh, the lick back i called my brother and he and he told me he's like um because he he was also one of the people that didn't necessarily believe in bisexuality mm -hmm. and and I'm like, well, you guys, you guys, you always told me that I had to choose one or the other. And he's like, Johnny, fuck what, what, what I say. You have to make up your own fucking mind. Yeah. So, so wait, you were with a girl or a guy? I was, or with like, the, I was with the guy at first. Oh, and then you cheated with a girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All so, right. So, it just, um, but that situation, because I think because it was my brother himself that told me, like, you have to make up your own mind. Like, fuck what I say. Yeah. Then that, that like opened, opened my mind up because yeah. I think either either way, when you try to identify with a label, it kind of puts you in a box. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And I mean, I'm not going to say like I was never curious about trying it, but I have I have enjoyed both. Yeah. So. Yeah. Which I get that. I think for me, it's hard to explain because a lot of times people be like, oh, she's she's lesbian, but like she has a kid or like all this shit. And it's just mm -hmm. like I don't I don't go as far as like to try to label myself. Obviously, I'm lesbian because I feel like I plan on only being with women. Yeah. Have I been with a man? What did I really love him? Was I like, I never cheated. I, I was, you know what I mean? But you, you know, what's weird. Hmm. I feel like now a lot of people try to say like people do it for a trend. Yeah. People. And, yeah. And, and I, and I do believe that to an extent, but also like some people I, are doing, I, it I don't know, bro. My heart, my life has already been like hard enough. So I'm like, yeah. I, and if honestly, if I, if I could just like straight up choose, I'd rather just be like one or the other, yeah. but I feel like being bi is way harder because I think people like they give bisexual people a harder time. I, I agree. Time. I mean, there's body erasure for sure. I, I feel like as a girl who dates as a woman that dates women, I feel like sometimes I get attacked by the bi community because sometimes I'll be like, Oh, like if I'm, for example, if I'm like, Oh, I don't want to date a bi girl right now. Like, mm -hmm. cause I have said that before I wasn't, in a right place and i was kind of like triggered so i just was like i want to date a lesbian like that's just what i wanted to fucking date you know what i mean yeah. but at the end of the day like i mean who i'm with right now doesn't believe in labels um not that i'm i'm not in a relationship jesus christ you're gonna need to edit that <laughs> <laughs> um, i need to fucking say that but the obviously it's pretty known that i'm like in a in a situationship type situation um and uh, they don't believe in labels and they just are just like you know whatever yeah honestly like that's how i feel like honestly even with like even with labels like i i feel like i'm just saying bisexuality just to make to, it understandable to people exactly yeah. exactly that's how i feel because like that's what i know i can do you mm -hmm. know what i mean i know i've been with both and that's what i know i can do and it's just like i i feel good like that you know but yeah. um label wise i'm like people are like losing their mind trying to label their sexuality i'm like just let that shit rock dude just yeah let that shit rock yeah i mean yeah at the end of the day you love who you love isn't that the whole fucking point is yeah. like love is love like who fucking cares um like i've said before like i i do see myself even right now when i said woman i was like it's weird because i am like technically like i've never felt that comfortable like with certain things like i'll say person or I'll i get say what, parent. i get what you mean I so get what you mean. being more on the non-binary thing makes sense but i just don't want to be the spokesperson for non-binary people you know do yeah, you ever feel like you I, don't want to be i don't that? i don't want to feel like that either i'm yeah. just like more so speaking like from my own experience yeah and um 
Do you, you ever know, think there's responsibility? Like people will try to put certain responsibilities on you. Being- yeah, yeah, and I and, and I, I get that also, but also I didn't necessarily ask to be in the position. I yeah, you know what I mean. Like yeah. I, 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 at least me personally, like, like my my brother, he's very much like, um, away from the public eye. Like people mm-hmm. know know about him, know who he is, but he's take he's had that choice to like keep his life private. You know yeah. what I mean? And I. I, I've had that choice myself, but also this is all I've ever known. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, so eventually it just it's happening now. You know yeah, what I mean? You're just yeah. like, yo, I'm here, I which is good because mm-hmm. like you're working on music and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. I've been working on an EP for two years almost now. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. Like, that's cool. Is this your first like? Okay. Yeah, well, I released a single almost five years ago. Okay. And um, the single it's gonna be a double single from the EP. It's gonna be on the fifth anniversary of um of my first single releasing oh that's so, awesome yeah, i'm i'm big on numbers and everything so i just um i i'm really glad i've taken my time with the project too yeah yeah i wasn't i really wasn't trying to do it but also you know like new music releases on fridays and stuff like that yeah so i saw oh my gosh april 5th is gonna be a friday again so mm-hmm. i'm like that's perfect that's it'll be five years to the day because everything for me is like five i'm big on sevens and eleven. so that's awesome fuck yeah well shit i mean i'm gonna drink the rest of my shot did you you drank yours or you still had some just a little bit let's go okay oh. <sighs> <Mm-mm>. <sighs> that was a lot <laughs> oh my god why that did, was so why, much why did it feel rougher than the in the shot than the first one right uh, a little bit like hold on we need to take a chase yeah on. what the fuck Mm-mm. Dude, that was way too much. I don't know what the fuck my day is about to become, but I know that my day is fucked. <laughs> Somebody earlier told me, have the day you deserve with an attitude. And I, I, apparently I'm having the day I deserve. I'm chilling with you. We fucking having a good time. We're going to fucking drink. I deserve a great day. And that's what the fuck I'm going to have. I'm Who over, says that? I'm have o- the day you deserve. I'm over here having an ASMR with the chip on. I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody hit the like button. Yes. Not the residue hidden hard. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. You said, uh, DJ right. Spazzy said, I can't stand labels. Fact, lo- love is love. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things. <laughs> Pace yourselves. No, thank you very much, Woke Santa. Um, look, I don't fucking know, dude. I think at the end of the day, ya quisiéramos, my mom's always like, ah, ya quisiera la gente ser feliz, you know? Like, mm-hmm. ya quisiéramos, like, fucking, you know, be in a healthy relationship. It don't matter what the fuck your label is, who the fuck, as long as you find your motherfucking person and you're happy. Yeah exactly live your fucking life exactly and even then like even if you're not in a relationship even if it's not necessarily about love like if someone's like in the club and you're feeling them like go with them you know what i mean whether it be like whether <laughs> it be like people in trouble whether whether it be male or <laughs> female you just gotta like go with that, them. That, that's your way you discover like Yo, who you are like you know what i mean somebody's gonna be like johnny is j- your voice is gonna be in their head they're gonna be like if you're feeling someone in the club go with them okay i'm on my way to miami i'm about to find out i'm about to be like <laughs> I'm about to have Johnny, you're going to see me get a tattoo. I'm like, if you see somebody in the club, go with them. I'm like, yeah, I got that quote. That, that was prolific. That's, yeah. that's poetic. I love no, that. For real, for real. <laughs> you know, next time you feeling someone in the club, go with them. Just let your sexuality rock, dude, whatever it is. As long as you keep sharing your location with me and I keep sharing your lo- my location with you. <laughs> there, my brother, do you share your location with some people? Because my, yeah. my brother or like my best friend will be like, where the fuck are you? Like, no, they'll I, see I like me to, somewhere. <laughs> I like to collect um, I, I like to collect them and I, I say they're my little sims. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. So I... It's funny. I share my I share my location with uh, with Chiggies, mm-hmm. but she doesn't share it with me. Well, that but makes me, sense. <laughs> but, but me and Jackie, but me and Jackie share our location with each other. Um, yeah, and I share. <laughs> I actually just shared my um, my location with someone. I'm at pa pa que uh, si me secuestran. <laughs> I'm dead. No, yeah, for sure. I um I had I used to have what was it um Cece and she's a flight attendant so randomly like I'll just open my thing and she's like off the fucking random ocean in I don't know Egypt and shit and I'm just like what the fuck like where the hell is this girl but um mine's always mine's always not really oh I forgot I was sharing my location one time with somebody and um <laughs> and they were like they were like stop sharing your fucking location I was like oh sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they knew where I was and I was like oh I was like my bad and I just like turned it off I was like damn i fucked up which is crazy because like i said i'm the most in trouble single person i think i've ever met like how do do i get guilted yeah i'm 
public everybody knows i'm fucking single i've been there i've been there actually but the the guilt and the and the and the trouble that i get myself into i'd be like i might as well be in a relationship for all this shit i get exactly what you mean (laughs) have you ever like but have you ever like laid down like the facts of somebody like hey i'm not looking for this right now and then it just becomes an even bigger mess like, yes yeah that, i've been there before i i get what you mean by being an untroubled single person yeah like 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 from the beginning i establish what it is right and uh now i think i'm in a way better place but i feel like for a while there i was you know i had gone through a bad breakup all this shit so i was like yo i'm emotionally not even ready for anything yeah if you get involved with me just so you know i'm in a bad place i, I don't see myself getting into a relationship anytime soon exactly. you know whatever and still things develop but i don't know how it is for guys and that's probably something see, you could tell me yeah. but with girls it just gets so emotional so quick yeah and it's like well actually well in, my, in, well in my experience i feel like actually guys have gotten way more emotional than me really yeah and girls like i've i feel like girls play games a lot <laughs> i feel like girls play games way too much and it just gets exhausting but that, and that's the thing about guys is that they're way more straight up you know what i mean yeah. and that's what i've like been able to like just i guess excuse me um admire just like respect about guys a little bit more because i, I don't know girls are, are way more complicated and i'm like i don't got time for all that shit dude like i've been through too much already like i don't have enough mental energy for it you know i'm like you speaking to the lesbians right now because what the fuck i know women are fucking crazy no oh, sorry that sounds like a toxic man right now right i'm a machista women are crazy these bitches are sorry y'all we um we had to take a break because my brother was letting me know to fix my fucking makeup which is insane we had some blendation issues. blendation he said I, you need to blendation the fact that my straight brother is is like bl- <laughs> you need to blendation is insane because what they look that's good mm. that's that's good thank you very much i appreciate that mm. all wait. you bitches that was trying to send titty pictures to my brother send them shits right now wait <laughs> i i, I saw, didn't even receive them i saw oh. they went to you <laughs> I they saw, did go to me. I yeah. saw somebody say, though, that I've dated some game playing as men. I'm not saying guys can't do that because I know guys can do that. Yeah. But just in my experience, girls be very fucking complicated, especially yeah. if they got daddy issues. <sighs> Listen. Speaking as someone, my, my shrink has told me that um, <laughs> my shrink has told me that I got both mommy and daddy issues. So yeah, I have mommy issues. My mommy issues are f- terrible my my both both my issues are loud actually <laughs> and and it's funny because i've looked at that astrologically mm-hmm. so get this my mom was a cancer mm-hmm. my sister who's basically my mom is a cancer as mm-hmm. well um, i'm a cancer and then my my dad was a pisces mm. and i kid you not every like person i've, I've had a, like a connection with romantically involved with they have had either cancer or pisces, pisces. placements mm-hmm. it's crazy and i'm like okay yeah i, I believe my shrink now <laughs> yeah no, I feel you. And with me, with, with mommy issues, like the women that I can have a perfect, wonderful woman, perfect, everything about her. And here I go fucking following some toxic ass bitch, just like my mother. And I'm just like, Jesus Christ, like, what is wrong with me? Like, and I know I'm doing it too. Like, like I see the wonderful person that I have right here. And I'm mm-hmm. like, but that bitch that treats me like shit and drags me, I want that's the one I want. That's that's for me. You know what I actually learned? I need to stop it. What I actually learned through girls, and I never thought I was gonna be like this. I never thought I was gonna be like this because like I know what my mom has. She went through domestic violence and there was just a lot of stuff. I'm like and I've always been a mama's boy, so I'm like, I'm gonna make sure I treat a girl right. That's the, my mindset always growing up. Yeah. And I kid you not, like I feel like some some girls they like to get a rise out of you. They like to get a rise out of you, get under your skin. And I became, like, such a fucking asshole. I would say the most fucked up shit. Oh, my God. And one time, one time I was on the phone telling this girl off. And Jenica and Cheeks were in the next room. And I, I... I was, like, in shock with the moment. I'm like, I can't believe I'm living this right now. I was telling her off, like... Like... Like, just saying the most horrible shit. And then I came out of the room. She's like, Johnny, you can't say shit like that. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my God. But, like, but also, she, she knew what she was doing. She was trying yeah. to get a rise out of me. You yeah. know what I mean? No, I feel you. I definitely, the amount of times I've been told by women, I like to make you mad, is, like, why, though? See, like, no one's ever admitted that to me. But I know that's where their mind's at. Girls like to make 
Yes, girls want to feel like you're mad or you're jealous or you're territorial or you're something. And it's like, I try my best not to because I don't want to be this like, you know, but I would just be like, but then they'll be like, oh, you don't care. And I'm like, I do care, but I'm trying to not react in a way because I know me. So it's like, I'm like, hmm. see, I've always been like that. I've always been like that, but I feel like, I feel like girls like to challenge that. Just give it to them. Just be angry. Yeah, be like, okay, fine. This is what you want. All right, mm-hmm. bet. I like, I like, I like. I think they like to the challenge that. They're like, oh, I he's, pop their balloons. Yeah, he's very. He's, <laughs> oh, he's very fucking. He's okay. very fucking aware. I'm gonna see oh. just how much I can get under his skin and, and get a rise out of him. Like, you know what I mean? And I know that they're doing that, and that's what pisses me off even more. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like. I'm feeling lit already. Look, a Valencia, bit. me too. Valencia said, "Snow, you loud right now? Why? Why are we like this? Y'all are. That's the problem. Is that you, for all I know, you're relating to me? I'm like y'all, you. No, I'm just kidding. Mm. Um, but yeah. Wait, who's oh, okay? So what? I want to ask you a question. Oh. What sex drive is stronger, male or female? What do you feel? Because you've been with wait, both. like, like them. Yeah, like what sex drives do you think is stronger? I couldn't even. Like more intense. I'm wearing, wait, they all be crazy. They all be wildin'. Like, I don't know. I've had, like, I I don't know. Well, my sex drive is very strong. So, like, for anybody to be with me, like, they have to be that. See, my sex drive is insane. But, like, I think I think girls have a... <laughs> have, 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 <laughs> hey, yo! <laughs> insane. insane. I'm a freak. I'm a freak. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I've always been a freak. Yeah. But I do feel like girls, they'll, like, they be crazy yeah uh no yeah um definitely girl i mean i don't know yeah like See, like someone, I said, someone just agreed female <laughs> no female no definitely women like i i really gotta i mean they're you know like but like i said like i wouldn't even go there with anyone if they weren't like you got to establish that from the beginning mm-hmm. it's like because whenever i hear somebody like i'm not a very sexual person it's like okay well that's good for you and your future partner like i don't know what to tell you like what am i gonna do with that like it's so it's like i uh, yeah i i can't not i mean who was it chickies was trying to have me be celibate for 40 days i was she's like you can you try 21 days i'm like girl what are you why hold on it's a good thing though it's a good thing it's a good thing to do sometimes i've heard because they say like uh they say, well, at least for males, um, semen retention is really good for manifesting whatever you, whatever you really well, want. Well, I like to stay away from semen, so I wouldn't <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm like, I had can't tell you my last encounter with, well, I mean, I think what, I, you, I had a kid. <laughs> you were married to a semen. <laughs> <laughs> he was a semen. <laughs> he was, he was, a, he was in the Navy. Damn, you but, were in a um, whole ass marriage before? A whole ass marriage. Oh my god! Don't start. Cause I used like I was I was in a relationship with a girl that her whole whenever she would dr- like get drunk and get mad, all she would say is, "You were fucking married," and I'd be like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> I'd be like what? Randomly, just you were fucking married to a man, and I'll be like, "No." Yeah, as my I fucking get, I get child that. is walking by, like I get that shit that? though. My 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 best friend, without disclosing her name, um, she she was. In, in an entanglement with a girl for like three four years mm-hmm. and who also had a husband mm-hmm. and oh, yeah. yeah so it, it, it got it got very complicated but she the it, they, she basically admitted to her she's like i can't ever be with you because i'm never going to be comfortable with that side of myself and she has a whole ass which daughter. is sad i know it's really sad it's really sad it's yeah. really sad i was it told that me. i was told that i was in a relationship with a girl that was never going to come out like her family was so christ so catholic like she was never ever going to fucking come out so I had to make the decision and, you know, it was like a three and a half year relationship. And I was like, look, I've waited three and a half years. I have to make my decision for myself. I want to be happy. I want to find my person. Yeah. And if you're never going to come out, then I have to like move on. I move on. This bitch comes out like the next year. I was like, what the fuck was that? That was stupid. I'm like, that was so dumb. She's like, well, I'm ready now. I'm like, no, that's not how it fucking works. I've I've moved on with a cancer. They wait and wait and wait and wait. And but when they're done. Yeah. I, I can agree. Right? Like, I can agree with cancers that. Cancers can be very sweet, but we can be very cutthroat. Wait, so you're also a cancer? I'm a cancer, yeah. Okay, wow. So it's like, it just yeah. is It just is what it what's is. Your, you what's know? your birthday? June 24th. Okay, gotcha. you. Yeah. your June cancer, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Just because the June cancers are different from the July cancers. What are you about to say right now? He's like, okay, well, no. gotcha. Yo mm-hmm. creo que, like, yo creo que los, los junio cancers son más... 
tranquilo, they're chill, but July cancers can be a little bit crazy. Because they're on their way to Leo. That's true. They're on their way to That's Leo. True. Like a July cancer is like, little, got a little lion in them. They yeah. be lying too. I told- <laughs> they be lying, bro. July cancers, I'm sorry, but they be lying. Oh, it's funny. That's um, funny. It just be like that. Um, I do feel like June cancers are a little calmer, mm-hmm. sweeter, but because they had that, they had that little bit of a. Uh, is, is it? Is it? You oh know, it's Gemini. We're energy. on our way to Gemini, though, so we're yeah. a little more. Might we, mean it's trailing. It's trailing behind them. Yeah, we we have a little bit of that duality for me at least because I'm a Gemini moon. I will say that it took me a while. My dad's a Gemini. I, wow. The, the I dislike my dad. The the girl that would like to get aroused out of me, she was a Gemini moon. <laughs> She was a Gemini moon. Well, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. No, but yeah, my dad. Okay, so I I don't have daddy issues because my dad, like, I, he didn't leave my life till I was 18. Mm-hmm. So, like, I feel like, you know, and he he actually got to meet my ex-husband and he, like, le dio mi mano and everything. He's like, you know, get married, blah, blah, blah. So I feel like I had, a, like, an entire, yeah. you know, situation. But I don't like my dad for very many reasons. And he's a Gemini. So I always was like, oh, I hate Geminis because of my dad. Then when I found out I was a Gemini moon, I was like, no, not. And now I've been realizing. You understand him? More? I get it. No, well, I get it for myself, at least. I, mm-hmm. his, my problems with him have nothing to do with his sign. He's just a fucking asshole. No, but, but I get you. With myself, I'm just like, I see the duality. I see that I could be two people. And it makes a lot of sense that I'm Claudia and that I'm Snow the product. Like, and I, sometimes I blame my toxic shit on Snow the product. And I, know, I have like three or four different personalities. Right? Yeah. No, I, I for I real like do. That. I feel like a lot of people have always known me as Johnny. And then who I am like in a normal environment where so, where nobody knows me or anything. I just, um, and I, I, I practice this. Like I just, I don't introduce myself as Johnny or Juan Angel or Cinco or anything. Like I just introduce myself as Angel. That's my middle name. Oh, that's yeah. his middle name. Yeah. Two middle yeah. name angels. Yeah. So oh, there's, there's, there's some people out there that just know me by the name Angel. So. Oh, that's nice. When I'm drunk, I introduce, well, or to people that I don't want to, like, whatever, I introduce myself as Alexandra. And the one time I was on a dating app, I did put myself as Alexandra. <laughs> and I tried to put the least know the product pictures I could. And then somebody fucking DMs me and they're like, somebody's using your uh, face as their fucking thing. And I'm like, I blocked them. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> it was so embarrassing, bro. Because it's hard as a lesbian, bro, as a, as a queer woman looking for it's just hard like i don't know everybody fucking like if i go out to the gay area do you think it's harder for girls fuck yeah i think it's harder for girls i it's think it's way harder so for much girls. harder for girls i feel like i feel like the like when it comes to like oh like gay rights gay recognition re- recognition and everything it's always been mainly focused on males and yeah. that's why it's way harder for for females yeah it's always focused on males obviously you know like there needs to be trans rights and there needs to be like a lot of support for trans mm. people but i do feel like it ends up being males and trans people and i feel like a lot of times lesbians get pushed out the fucking shit i think we can be the butt of the joke i think there's not that many lesbian bars you saw on twitter apparently or x whatever the fuck they want to call it Mm -hmm. um there was this whole thing about how like a dude went into a lesbian bar and he was so mad that they that they told him like you know like you don't really have to be here if you're a straight man like you can go somewhere else and then it became men being like we want to be in lesbian it's like why (laughs) why do you want to be in a lesbian bar bro there's only 30 around the country and they're that's weird and they're tiny i've gone bro i go around the world obviously and i talk I try to go into gay areas because that's where I feel safe. Mm-hmm. And it's always Boys Town. It's always it is. a lot of true. gay men areas, which is great. You know, I feel I still feel at home. But I'm like, where is there? An, even San Francisco, which is like fucking gay capital of like fucking U.S. Yeah, there's true. one lesbian place, Jolene's. And I have to take a trip to San Francisco. I barely started like we got to go. I barely I barely started going. Go. Let's I barely started going to WeHo in December. I Be careful. <laughs> We ho is no, fucking trust, insane. Trust me, I know. I've been five times since then. So, bro, um, we ho is insane. And the one, the one time I got the most like accosted. Like I'm talking about somebody like accosted. Like grab my whole like. From, can you can you can, you, the, can you define that for me, dictionary? <laughs> uh, like Michael Saturn, like fucking okay. Somebody from the back. Wait, you laid down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I probably have done less laying down than this man who walked up to me and from the back grabbed my pussy from. The, it was crazy. It was wow. like that. Yeah, like no. just whole everything just grabbed me. Uh, a la Donald Trump. A la Donald Trump. <laughs> he said, Gra-, "Yeah," and I was just like, "What the fuck?" I turn around and I was like, "What?" 
turned out to be a fucking Olympian uh, gymnastics guy. Wow. And to this day, I'm going to find this motherfucker and I'm going to be like, you fuck. Because I'm in a fucking gay area and you're a man. The heck? It wasn't Bruce or <laughs> your brother's over here clowning on you. <laughs> no, I'm saying it fits the description. Olympian in the gay area. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Yo, I'm glad that my fucking uh sexual trauma no i'm just joking. i'm not i'm not traumatized but i'm just saying like i don't I'm, think i'm traumatized either yeah <laughs> just no, throws that out not, there no not sexually not sexually <laughs> i'm traumatized in other ways but not sexually i don't i don't think i i don't think that became my sexual drama but i think that night i did cry mostly because i was like it's so sad that as a like as like a female like i can't even be feel safe in the mm -hmm. gay area where like that's where you're supposed to feel safe mm -hmm. which is why i do feel like sometimes straight people for example west hollywood gets crazy for halloween so many people go straight people go the fact that there's times when i've literally been made feel uncomfortable or people are pushing you out the way or things are getting crazy and it's straight people it's like get the fuck out of here like at least respect the gays if you're gonna be in our area at least respect us like why are you gonna fucking True. do all this shit the cool the cool people the cool straight people that i met there have been pretty cool though yeah well, they're always they're, they're always pretty cool but i'm telling you halloween or certain fucking holidays like sometimes there's just straight people that are just and there's well for men is different but for women i feel like there's definitely dudes that go specifically to hunt out women that are getting really drunk in yeah, West no, Hollywood it's, it's a, or that want to get crazy. Because it's a little hack. It's a little hack. They figured it out. They're like, oh, shit. So girls go there for this. This is this, that reason. Okay, I'm going to go over there. Yeah, and they have a heavy pour. They get really fucked up. Don't go to the Abbey. They're going to put something in your drink. You end up blacking out off one drink. Like how I had one drink and I'm blacked out. What did y'all put in my shit? But... <laughs> I took my mom because my mom used to be super homophobic. Even now, like, you, you know, took whatever, her to there, yeah, I took my mom to West Hollywood. This lady ends up fucking making out with some fucking guy in the Abbey. And I was like, Ma, <laughs> I was like, that's fucking gross. Why are you making out with some dude? She's like, oh, está, está vestido bien, bien nice. Tiene su suit y todo. Y tiene su troca. I'm like, he's a fucking Uber driver. Like, he's hey. outside. Like, what the fuck? Can be the end. I wonder how my mom would have. That would have been Aww. a cool little outing. That would have been a cool little outing. It would have taken her some time to get there, I think. Yeah. But uh, I definitely think she would have been down eventually. Oh, yo, cheers to that. That's lovely. Mm. Absolutely. That would, that, yeah. With my mom, it took a while. You know, she's, when she gets mad, she says her things. My mom's bipolar. So she's here and there. And I'm not talking like, like clinically? funny. I'm clinically, like, we've, I remember being, being little and seeing my mom with the, with the, with the grippy socks and the, and the whole mm. thing. And I'll be like, okay, mom, I feel you. But now she's like, all I had to do is stop taking my medicine and I'm fine. I was like, <laughs> I'm like tell that to the weird messages you send me randomly when you're pissed off. Even today she FaceTimed me and I was, I'm literally leaving. Like, I'm like, ma, I'm like, I don't got time right now. I'm like, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. Tengo limón. Oh. Um, and my mom's like, um, my mom was like, um, Okay, todo está bien, pues. And she puts me the little thing. I already know she has a problem. <laughs> She's like, oh, you don't even want to know what I actually type. And then I delete that. And then I send you the thumbs up. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, she says, yo te echo malas palabras hasta en inglés. I'm like, why do you hate me so much? I'm like, because I didn't answer your FaceTime. Ito admitted that he didn't talk to my mom for like five months. And he loves and adores my son. I mean, my my son. My my firstborn son here. Um, But yeah. Uh, it was my, just since like Thanksgiving. Yeah, but. Thanksgiving, but we had the conversation in January. Yeah. I mean, I don't, and she fucking we're, we're loves different. you. We're different people. But with me, let me not answer Wait, her fucking so, call. So the relationship between you is you he's like your firstborn basically? Basically, I'm his yeah, I'm his parent. Okay, yeah, cuz that's how it is with me and yeah. Chiggy's for sure. Yeah, yeah, it's always been like that. Even when my mom was here, it's just like my mom would spoil like the fuck out of me and like give me whatever I want, and it wasn't until Chiggy's moved out of the house the year before she passed that um not even the year it was like my mom passed in december and janae moved out in march mm. so it was like that gap of time that i just had in my mom mm -hmm. and that's when her parenting style kind of shifted she mm -hmm. tried she started being more of a parent yeah so more mem i have more memories of her being like like the cool mom and just being outgoing like so like my sister would get in trouble for like listening to rap music mm -hmm. and then me and my mom would watch family guy together <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like so. I feel like every one of my siblings will be like, "Oh, that's such a fucking double standard and everything." He's a baby, but it's because like my mom, um, 
my mom really believed I was an indigo child. So, so she she read up on all these books on how to treat um how to treat indigo childs and she really like I I've been reading one of them that she had in her book collection that I found in storage and um oh my god it makes so much sense why she treated me the way she treated me. Oh. But what also is, being the that? baby I feel like for my mom that's the baby. Yeah. yeah. Can I explain oh. one, what indigo child is. Um so an indigo child I guess I don't know how to define it exactly but indigo child they basically say like you know it's just with new like they they're they're just very like intuitive um they know exactly what they want and um there's like these different i think there's like rainbow children and i forget the other one but there's also indigo child and the indigo one is that just pops like it started popping up during the 70s 80s i believe that's mm-hmm. what they said in the book but i'm still pretty i'm still pretty like new to the topic but but yeah that's what my mom believed that was mm. so that's yeah <laughs> that's fucking dope sorry um She's sorry o- she's over here no because like i said i would like right before when you fucking got here it, like i was in this whole fucking thing i even threw my fucking watch on the microwave didn't i <laughs> i was fucking upset I'm like, women women are stressful that's all i'm gonna fucking say so i knew it was something regarding that right i'm st- here you need a chip what i say my mom look Bounce Why do I like women that are like my mom? Your mom's over here reading books and treating you good, and you're an indigo child. My mom, what my mom do? Fucking treat you good, and argue with me. Like I can send. Look, I can Wait, buy my you, mom. Are you the first born though? Yes, okay, I can buy so my mom happens. things. I could give my mom literally send my mom five thousand dollars. She's gonna say, "Oh, I needed more." It, I bought her a truck. She asked for a bigger one. I got her a mm. phone. She went to the Best Buy em- employee and asked for what's a better phone than the one I'm fucking buying her. When I was buying her a fucking iPhone del año, like my mom just there's never enough for this woman. It's she needs to show but, me that mm. whatever I do. I could have done better. The firstborns always, the firstborns always get the hardest though. <sighs> okay, Jennifer Aguilar, indigo children, highly evolved individuals who exist who exist outside normal parameters. And then lesbian trade commented, the other is crystal children. There's rainbow children, indigo children, and crystal children. So mm. look into it. You'll probably figure out what you are. But yeah, eldest daughters always just get it hardest. My sister got it really hard for my mom. Yeah, yeah. it's like. It's crazy. Well, with me, my son, I only have one, obviously. And I get it. Even when I was pregnant, my mom was like, well, if you're going to have a boy, I'll move to Texas and I'll, you know, um, help you out. But if you're going to have a girl, like, I don't want to go over there. I was like, that's so crazy. Like, what is wrong with you? She really fucking said that. Plus, not to mention, she had to go to fucking Texas anyway. At the time, she was going through a rough time and I had an extra bedroom, extra two bedrooms in my house. I was like, come here. You don't have to pay anything. I'll take care of you. I'm pregnant, first of all. I'm fucking pregnant. She's like, ah, let me know if it's a boy. I'll let you know. I'm like, esta señora, but she lives in Mexico, so she's just living her life. Wait, do you, is there any grandchildren? Oh, wait, your your son. So how does she? I'm like how, my whole story sorry, sorry, right so, now. Sorry, sorry. So how does how does she treat your son? I'm interested. Oh, loves him. Yeah, that's how it is. I just I was literally just remembering. Jayla is the firstborn grandchild. Mm-hmm. She's the only one that got to meet my mom. Well, actually, Luna got to meet my mom, but um. She was three, four months when she passed. Um, but Jayla, Jayla became my mom's world. Jayla became my mom's world right away. And she was arguing. I was just remembering this the other day. She was arguing with her mom when she was like one, two years old about they were trying to get her off the bottle. Mm. And she was trying to give her water instead of a bottle. And she's like, no, I want the teta. I want the teta. And then my mom just comes into the room and says, Jackie, just give her the fucking bottle. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> damn. We could never. We could never. Well, I could maybe a little bit, but I would. Yeah. Yeah. Jayla would give whatever the fuck she wanted, though. Oh, no. Yeah. With with me, with my son. I mean, that's how she is now. She doesn't. I mean, my mom ever since. OK, I'm done with my first drink. Can I get another squirt? Period. <laughs> Period. And um, a spoon, please. No. Yeah. Fucking. Um, with with my mom. Yeah. She loves my son, like everything. But she doesn't really visit. Like, you know, she's like, if you need me to visit. You know what's up? I'm not a babysitter. I'm gonna do that. I'm, you know what? But I imagine she treats him like a fucking king. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, she definitely does. And and you know, as uh, look, my son is a fucking very charismatic, which is which scares me. He's a Taurus. He's hard headed, charismatic, and I tried to keep him 
away from the world as long as I could because I knew it was going to be trouble. And now that the okay, internet Drake. has found my son. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't I was keeping my, my son from the world. I was keeping the world from my kid. Um, no, for real. No, but, you want to be Drake so bad, bro. Bro, I. what are you talking about? I am Drake. <laughs> what? <laughs> what, the, what is this even a good No, a actually, if there was anyone that's a female Drake, I think it'd be you, actually. I'm literally Drake. Like, you, how that's are you telling true. me I'm not? No, I'm just joking. No, but no, for real. No, I. the reason I tried to protect my son about it was only because I was like, I never wanted him to go to school and then people be like, ha your mom's a whack ass rapper. Like, you know, I didn't want him to get bullied or something. I get what you mean. And even now, when the whole conversation came up about me potentially having an OnlyFans, he was like, I will literally get bullied out of fucking school. I was like, <laughs> first of all, he's like, and then and then I was like, I'm not going to make a, my own OnlyFans. I'm going to make one for the podcast. And then, you know, like I could just do things through the, the podcast. He's like, fine. Then if you're not going to do anything wrong, I'm going to subscribe and we're going to see what you're doing. I'm like, don't fucking talk to me like that. So... Nah, I didn't want my son to ever get bullied. I never wanted my son to go but, through shit. But now everybody realizes he has my personality and my swag. And his dad was really just a sperm donor. So come to find out he's amazing. It's really funny because I feel like oh, there's a lot of things my mom, my mom protected me from. But there's a lot that she um, she just kind of let me do as mm-hmm. a kid. Just because like I have to prepare his mind for when he's older. Yeah. Like um, because everyone knows my mom went through a whole situation where she had a um a video come out oh yeah so it and i remember when i was like 10 11 we were watching this family guy episode where you know family guy right yeah yeah lois 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 had a had a video come out Mm -hmm. and i remember this was one of the like my mom was laughing throughout this whole episode and i think it's because she felt identified with it and Mm -hmm knowing like looking back at it now i'm like i'm wondering why would she let me like watch that but i'm like she was preparing my mind for when i'm when i'm older yeah you know what i mean I so mean, it's just little things like that it's funny like she in, it, instead of like necessarily like trying to keep me shielded she like prepped me for when i was older yeah mm-hmm. yeah and i think that's where like you know i went through his childhood and everything now he's 13 so now i'm like okay he's 13 he has a group chat with the boys i know the type of shit that's going on right so like sometimes like i try to you know and it's like his dad is around but (laughs) no it's just because fucking like you said group chat with the boys it's funny i was just thinking in my head right now like being bi i've had group chats with both boys and with just both girls it's just funny i got in the best of both worlds i'm like i never thought about that yeah like you're making me realize like wow i got i really got the best of both worlds right (laughs) The, well, that's like that, I mean, that's kind of like me too. Like I, like I have boys' days with my brother and like boys, my boy. You, you met them, my cousin, my friends. Mm-hmm. Like we, we're here on a ranch. Think about it. We got the ranch. We got a fucking pool. We can throw parties. We get drunk as fuck. We invite girls. Everything's fucking lit. And then obviously, I have my my time with my best friends that are girls. And you know, yeah. we're we're doing. They want to go to brunch. I'm like, mimosas. I mean, that's about it. <laughs> breakfast? Are you a breakfast person? Yeah, I love. You breakfast. are. I actually love I'm breakfast. Bad. Are you? I've never even really. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I like it, but I mean, when dieting, sometimes it's the easiest one to yeah, no, not I'm, to I'm, skip. Yeah, I'm, I'm a slut for breakfast. I'm a slut for breakfast. I love I love egg whites. I love turkey bacon, French toast. Oh my gosh, we should pancakes. throw a party called like brunch slut. You should do that on the podcast, like a whole like morning podcast, and then we drink also mimosas. Let's fucking do it. Right. But like, you know, like in the fucking pool area, we do this whole fucking thing. I want to see girls in bikinis on the fucking floaties and shit. Like <laughs> syrup being, being thrown video. on them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we can just turn it into a fucking music video afterwards. But like tur- shoot it on VHS. Just be like, yo, brunch slut. At bro, that sounds like a music video shoot too as well. You can everything. get a lot of things done with that. Fucking OnlyFans. A- everything. Everything's <laughs> fucking being thrown, bro. I Podcast, like this. music video, OnlyFans, all in one. Yo, I have ADHD, fucking. The, the more things you can throw in the one... I think we all have ADHD liquea, at this point. Liquado. I think we all have ADHD at this point. I mean, Because yeah. of our phones. Because this is the most unnatural source of, like, constant dopamine all the time. Yeah. So I feel like it's made us develop ADHD. We become addicted yeah. to, to the dopamine. Well, prior to fucking phones, I was like... They tested me because I had a problem at school. But, yes, I agree with you. And th- yeah. that's what I think about my, my son sometimes, too. I'm just like, yo... He, I'm like, there's no way this, he's on the computer. He's hearing a fucking thing over here. He got his Mm -hmm. phone going on. I'm just like, what the fuck is happening? I'm like, 
Can you turn this into educational television? Because why are you watching a streamer scream at you right now? He has like three streamers on at one time. They're all like, screaming. I'm like, what is this? There's, there's no value that see, can I, be I, you, I used to want to be like that. I used to want to be like that. I'm assuming it's gaming, right? Yes. Yeah, see, I've always, I always used to like want to be like a gamer like that. I wanted to be a director, actor, gamer, a lot of things at once. But then when I was 13, I settled for music. But. I had to make me a beat once. And I like I got on the beat and I told him, I was like, do you want me to pay you for this beat up front? I can give you money or I, you can share the revenue of this and we can go 50 50. That's the deal you made with your son. Yeah, that's fucking badass. I love that shit. He took the money up front <laughs> and then I showed him the money of revenue. And he's like, next time I'm going to share the revenue. I'm like, next time you're not getting another next time. I'm like, you better get I'm like, I gave you a chance and I got on a beat that wait to a be second, honest. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh shit, we're almost finished with this shit. Hold on, I just realized. I'm sorry. No, go ahead. You want to pour a little bit more? Not yet, not yet, not yet. Okay. You haven't even finished your first one. I, because you guys out drink me. That's the problem. I the, genetically, you have to be superior when it comes to liquor. I don't know what the fuck it is about y'all, but well, I mean, I could think one thing, but god damn, <sighs> plus I got fucked up last night. The owner, first of all. I was in a low key. I had my hat down. I'm trying to be low key. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I'm just like incognito, incognito, dude. And then all of a sudden the fucking waitress starts bringing us shots. And she's like, the owner sent this, the owner sent this. And I'm like, <laughs> and then we start drinking. You know me. I mean, I'm not gonna waste a shot. So it just keeps on fucking going. Next thing you know, black the fuck out. I wake up in the morning and I'm just like, <laughs> I looked around. I was like, what the fuck? It was crazy, which I felt bad. Because it was very nice, but I waste. I feel like I wasted it. Oh no, I made a two minute video while drunk uh, on somebody else's but phone. But those are the best. Those I watched best. it this morning. Those are the best to look back on. How many videos do we have for my birthday? Yeah. A great amount. I yeah. was so drunk with with a phone, and I'm just like, I'm a fucking. I was like, oh my god, I can't fucking believe it. Like I'm just drunk, just like, admiring how much work went into this, and I'm just like, I can't believe I'm, I'm like, I'm the baddie, dude. For a long time, like I'm, you know, I'm the one that spends the money or does things or whatever. And like this is the first time that it was like, I'm picking you up, you're not doing anything. I was like, okay, See, yeah, that's that's me. I was I was always like that before. Yeah. So yeah. to to get that treatment, I was just like. <laughs> and I have the champagne bottle. It's, and almost, drinking it. it's almost unbelievable, right? Yeah. It's very like. Look at my tia with the shades, bro. My tia just walked in with shades. What is this? ¿Qué pasó, tia? ¿Es pozole? Tia? No. ¿Qué es, tia? Oh, shit. What's okay. This? okay. Different. Wait, what okay. is this? ¿Qué es eso, tia? Papas? Sí. Oh, papas with what? Salsa. No tiene, na, no salsa. tiene algo de puerco, ¿no? No. Okay, okay. No is this the brunch y'all were talking about? We ended up having brunch after all. <laughs> I know. Tia, thank you. But I love my tia with the shit. Actually, that'd be lit. Let's make my tia an Instagram and a TikTok of her just with shades, just being fucking, like, lit-ass tia, dude. Entonces, ese es salsa y, y son papas. She knew we needed carbs. Right. She was like, these drunkies over here. <laughs> She's older. That's my mom's sister. She's the younger sister. Muchísimo gusto. Se llama Chelly, mi tía Chelly. Un gusto saludarla. She's fucking awesome. Oh, she made your sister uh, chile rellenos because Chiquis asked her to make her chile rellenos and she did and they were fucking fire. Ay, ¿dónde están las mías? Wow. I'm just right. <laughs> no, tía, vamos a hacer brunch slut and we're gonna we're gonna do the party and everything and my tía's gonna fucking cook and we're, it's gonna be fucking lit. Okay, wait. Le I'm vamos a traer gonna... unos, unos. We should bring you male go go dancers because my tia likes that shit. I'm gonna try and. Right? Hold on. I'm gonna try with Lord knows it's not for me. Is that a meatball? Yeah. No, it looks like a meatball. Oh. It's a potato. Oh. Mm. Potato ball. That shit was bomb. Oh my god. Oh You're my gosh. Too. That was fucking bomb. Le vamos a abrir restaurant, tia, because. <laughs> right. I'm like. Wow. Okay. Wow, I needed that. That was amazing with there the guac go. and everything. Y si quieres, oh, y si quieres tomar lo que quieran, ya saben. We about to start planning this. Brunch slut is happening. Right. <laughs> Jennifer, are you like, he is so respectful. Me? <laughs> oh. Well, yeah, I, I have a soft spot in my heart for señoras. Mm-hmm. I'm a big, I, I, I try my best to be a gentleman. Oh. Oh, sí, eh, para los miembros nomás. No está en vivo with everybody, pero. Sí. But, yeah. Exclusive only. Yeah. 
but, but because we still like the engagement with people but also like you know we're pre-recording i want to get more into pre-recording because okay so i go live on tuesdays at six which See. means my whole week See, we have to do another one like that because I really want to experience it. But this is still cool regardless. No, yeah, let let's do it. But you were fucking busy. I was like, I, I was trying to fucking plan around you, and you were trying to plan around me. And no, we you know what the worst part is? We scheduled this to be pre-recorded because my sister, oh, well, because I was supposed to have a studio date, and I'm really trying to finish this EP. Mm-hmm. And my sister went and stole my fucking studio date because we have the same producer. So, so we could have done this live as. Well, no, no, no. I ended up going to the studio with her because we're gonna we're working on a song together. Mm-hmm. So we had to go check that tono, and I was helping her in the studio. Anytime I'm in check the studio, check the tono. What that mean? Like uh, the 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 key of the song to make sure it was good for both of us. So like she's she's a, she's a, a female singer, so she's obviously at like a higher key, mm-hmm. and I'm male. So like it, we have to find a bridge between the both of us, like where it'll like. That's dope. Sounds yeah. very musical. Yeah, <laughs> like I'm a rapper. <laughs> yeah, I, like here and there. Music music theory gets complicated. But yeah. Dude, you know what's weird is I'm obviously the artist, right? But I could not understand music theory and he does. So like he has started beats or like he he's just been like, oh, that's that bass is off. Me, I'm like, I, I could like I could sing or I could play or I could do whatever, but mm-hmm. I just do it because I can. But I don't get it. See, yeah. See, like my mom, my mom knew it, but not necessarily in the formal way. She knew it because she could hear it. Like, that's me. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's more see, like, like just. See, like, me nace o no. I, I, I know if I didn't learn it, it would be way more difficult for me to identify it. But now, because I learned music theory, and it took me a couple times. It took me a couple times. Like, it's it's way easier. Yeah. Like, just he's way- a Virgo, so he's more, like, facts-driven and just, like, you know, he gets it. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just... Uh, well, no, so, see, see Gemini, Gem- you're a Gemini moon, right? Mm-hmm. And he's a Virgo. So, Virgo and Gemini, they both come from Mercury. So, they're both about processing information. But Gemini is all about multitasking, mm-hmm. ADHD, mm-hmm. and he can. Pro- it's probably he probably finds it easier to focus on one thing at a time. Yeah, he hates <laughs> when I'm all yeah. over the place. Yeah. So like, mm-hmm. I'll say things, and then he'll like write it down, and then he'll be like, "We will approach these things one by one." And I'm like, "Bra!" Like in the morning, like if I drink my coffee, I just start throwing shit like at the wall, like or everything. Like the first see, thing you say, then I start thinking deeper about that one, and you're like moving on to other topics. I'm like, wait. Yeah. Yeah. Like see, I can, I can, I can, I can do that, like as an Aquarius. But I know everything comes out way better when I just focus on one thing at once. I, I just, wish. Yeah. Just, I wish. I can't. I think like, I do a pretty good job at multitasking, right? Right. I'm I get bad. depressed about my ADHD, to be honest. Like, I don't like it. I don't like the, you know. And that's that's what I say sometimes. Like, I'm like, people think ADHD like oh fun you know oh it's funny it's ADHD and I'm like dude it's depressing it's no. actually depressing because I wish and my brain worked better but it doesn't and the so. weed the weed is what helps me sometimes focus on one thing at a time and see like I but also I know I need my sober brain sometimes I I, get I, I, I was I was a, like just a straight up stoner waking and baking for a long time now I just want to smoke like when I want to watch a movie or just like very like, listen to music That's I me. love smoking listening to music I smoke I, to I sleep analyzing. To watch a movie or a documentary or something or like to chill with somebody like so that I know that I'm just yeah to sleep for sure. But that's, I that's but how, when I tried to wake me. and bake, dude, I'm like <laughs> my fucking half my day is gone. Like I wake up, I'm like, I'm gonna smoke, I'm gonna shower. I do like to smoke and shower. That that to me is dope. Mm-hmm. Like the the self care smoke, you know, and then I shower and then I'm the face mask or I'm vibing. My bathroom is like my favorite place in the fucking entire have you, world. Have you ever tried smoking and working out? I've heard of that, but I can't, dude. I have to pre-workout. Wait, yeah, you have to have pre-workout to balance it out. Caffeine, I swear, caffeine and like preferably sativa-dominated weed, mm-hmm. best idea for working out or just anything functional. I need to know what weed you're smoking, like. Stizzy mainly, Stizzy weed, the okay. flower. It's it's pretty awesome, but All so, right. I um. I'll try it. Yeah, but honestly, I love smoking. I'm gonna break my out. back trying to fucking do a lunge. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> but no, lunge. I, I would love that though. Like you, so you work out high. Mm-hmm. What does it like? You just focus. I focus, and also because I always need to be listening to music when I'm working out, so um, it'll help me analyze the music as well. And um, but definitely, I just it it just makes me like concentrate more. I know how to breathe. It's crazy. I I tested it one time. I um I did two days where I was working out off of weed. I burned three four hundred calories. Um, third day I decided to smoke. And um, I burned like 800 calories. Oh wow! Really quickly, and I Hold and I and I've been a- try that. I've been able to run six seven miles like 
off of a bong hit. So. It, okay, it, it David helped, Goggins. It, it, it also, like, because <laughs> running is all about like breathing, making mm-hmm. sure you breathe, so it helps slow everything down. Make sure you're getting all enough oxygen. Preferably, if you're gonna smoke, if you're gonna smoke and work out and or run, I mean, um, do it outside because the oxygen, the natural oxygen, is what helps you like yeah balance it out. Yeah, I need to do that. I've been thinking about you know like Give the dogs, try. like the pit bulls. Like I need to like if I walk Brinks, I know I'm gonna run. Because that motherfucker is out of control. I have four dogs. I have two pit bulls, a cocker spaniel, and a chihuahua. One of my dogs, pobrecito, I don't know what the fuck happened to him when he was born, but he has a problem. And I know that guy, he just wants to fucking run. That's all he wants to do. But unfortunately, he's scared of cars. So I'm just like, I don't know what's going to happen. I think it's going to get a little a little crazy. My chihuahua, though, is tough. I was going to ask you, what music do you listen to, though, when you're working out? Depends, because I, I listen to all type, types of music. Okay. Only thing I really don't listen to is heavy metal, but honestly, I can listen to a lot. Mm. It's just because I, I, I also view working out as like my music examining time. Mm. You know what I mean? So if I, it can even be fucking country music, a slow ass sad song if I want to. Okay. But mainly for the last year, a lot of it has been basically um, banda norteño. Okay. That kind of stuff. I like the fast moving corridos. Um, yeah. But for a long time, it was rap, a little bit of reggaeton. I love listening to rap while while um while working out, especially smoking, because it's just like rap is also just something like you like to. I think smoking helps you examine all the lyrics better. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so working out has also done that for me. Nice. Yeah. What about you? Shit. I need to up shit. But obviously, I mean, I'm not smoking. So maybe I could listen to like, I don't know. Like, I haven't, I'm not going to lie, I've been mostly focused on cardio because I'm fat, but when I used to do, like, more um, weight training and shit like that, I can listen to slower music, like R&B or, mm-hmm. like, you know, whatever. But, like, shit, you put some motherfucking I get you. pop I get you. smoke and shit while I'm running, I'm run, fucking running running, st- running still, it always has to be, like, a beat fast pace, even if it's, like, banda yeah. regional or anything like that. But weightlifting, completely agree with you. Like, it could be anything a little bit slower, where yeah. you're a little bit more relaxed. Yeah. yeah, I've been listening to audiobooks while I'm traveling and shit like that. And like that became that's the problem with me. I'm obsessive compulsive. So once I like something, I love it. And I'm just yeah, into it. I'm just like, this is my thing. So it became this crazy thing because I just came back from Argentina and the whole trip was just like continuously listening to audiobooks to the point where like while I was traveling, I feel like people wanted to talk to me and I'm just like, they know I'm in my book. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like listening to that. And it it's it's lovely like i'm like i'm i'm what why are you laughing because <laughs> i just imagine somebody tries talking to you and you're like i'm reading <laughs> <laughs> shut up no but you were on the damn trip with me i know you saw it's like, probably I... me trying to talk to you and you're like, <laughs> that's funny i'm reading right now excuse me well david goggins is my dad now so david goggins yeah i i i used to listen to uh what's his name bet david i used to think he was my dad he's not anymore he's <laughs> so just looking for your dad in books <laughs> Yeah. My, and, my sister looks for that i feel like joyce meyer is her is her mom oh <laughs> oh no yeah i mean i you know because i don't know like like you, i said you, okay you need to eat something because i feel like i've been the only one fucking munching this i'm entire thing. fat i, don't I care. need to lose weight i'm going to miami all right you'll be fine you'll be fine the alcohol will balance it out listen just have see, something friends like that that are like you'll be fine and then my fat ass it's I'm like, mm, okay, great. But wait, no, that guacamole is really good. If this was French fries, I'd say I agree with you. But these are whole ass papas. They're good for you. They're good. I get them. Like I said, though, I had avocado toast, and then as soon as I got home, I had you. You had a banana. Mm-hmm. I had avocado toast with juice and coffee and everything. And then when I got home, mi tía había hecho um, huevo and salsa and frijoles, and then I put cheese on it. Bro, that's what I ate like right before I came here. So I know? didn't have shit. I mi feel tía. great. I feel fucking great. Look at him. He's like, I'm skinny. He's like, that's why you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, that's why you're not ready for Miami. And I am. <laughs> no, but, no but I've been feeling a little bloated. I've been feeling my a little tia, bloated. I love my tia. Like the fact that I fucking brought my tia to the ranch. Like I said, my mom, you know, she lives in Mexico. I let her live her life. She does apart, her thing. Apart. Zacatecas. Um, I love Zacatecas. Yeah. My mom, you know, she'd be doing her thing. But I used to pay my mom to take care of my ranch while I was on tour, mm-hmm. right? And I used to always, like, my mom is very, if you want me to visit you, I'm getting paid. What are we doing? 
what i'm like okay whatever i get it transactional relationship with my mother all right so she used to but the problem is that the last time she took care of the fucking ranch one of my goats got killed three or four of my chickens got fucking killed and you know what i mean it's just like too Mm -hmm. much shit was going on so i was just like my and then she's like mad about it and she's like oh i don't want to do this like it's stressful whatever then my tia offered she's like you know I take care of old people and the old man, he just died of old age. So she was just like, I'm kind of available. What do you want? You know, I was like, you can move in. You know, I just need you to be around in the ranch, you know, help me with the kid and the food and whatever. And so she did. And I feel like there's no problem until my mom was like, I was going to do it. And I'm like, no, you fucking weren't. You were stressed out and mad about it. So now she's like, wow, you took my job away. I'm like, no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm like, you're my mom. Like, I will send you money because you're my mom and I love you. I'm like, mm-hmm. but don't worry about, you know what I mean? So it's like, we're all happy. Everything's happy. I think everything's peaceful and good. And animals aren't dying. So we're good. Everything's good. So you have whole ass animals on that ranch. Here, yeah. I have uh, five goats. I have 13 chickens. I have four dogs, obviously. I want that shit one day. <laughs> I really want that shit one day. I want to perform for like at least like a good five, six, seven years and then probably relax and retire on a little ranch. Yeah. This is this is my fucking vibe, dude. Like, I like being near the city. So I'm near LA, whatever. I can go to an event. But I like coming out here. We have fruit trees. I, I want to replace every single tree. Right now, we have a lot of fruit trees. But I want to replace every tree around here so that they are fruits vegetables all that fucking shit so that they give something because what are y'all doing some of these trees like what are you doing the pine the i eucalyptus. want an avocado tree the fucking eucalyptus i hate eucalyptus deport eucalyptus why because there's eucalyptus is the shit for your throat especially if you're a singer yeah a bush ah uh, but still they're flammable on. and they and they actually when they light on fire they have this oil that they explode oh, okay <laughs> so i'm like california fires exploding eucalyptus like we need not plus palm trees already also are flammable so it's like too flammable around here i need everybody to cut the fucking eucalyptus make it a bush take the little thing put it in the shower i get it i, I imagine natural eucalyptus like that i just picked is amazing though yeah no I, it is i mean take it take take the whole tree if you want okay there's, there's a lot of trees around here i'm gonna take it i'm gonna plant it in our backyard <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna end up with a big ass fucking tree they shed they're flammable they're loud <laughs> they listen to rap music. They are criminals. <laughs> I'm just but have you met Helen? Helen Ochoa. Oh my God, you would love her. You guys oh. would get a, would get along amazing. Really? You Does guys she hate eucalyptus too? <laughs> no, it's just like your energy is reminding me of her oh. right now. If anyone Helen who, Ochoa, who's that? She's uh she's another uh música mexicana singer banda, oh. but and she's she's a fucking. I right, bring badass. her on the podcast. Where's she at? Yeah, she live in LA. Yeah, uh, she moves around. She's from Fresno. She lives in Jalisco, I believe, but she moves around. So okay. she'll definitely stop by. She, oh, that would be lovely. You would vibe with her. I should you know. I love that. Hell yeah. yeah. Let's do it. But yeah, um, yeah, eucalyptus is from, uh, ¿cómo se llama? Australia. Australia. So that's why. I'd be joking with the deport eucalyptus. No, but I, I kid you not. I was like sick um, in December, late December. And eucalyptus, as soon as like I, I had that, it opened my throat up like because I was like having trouble breathing. Oh yeah, but it it helps. It helps. I, I I understand now why they say you have it before you go on stage and stuff like that. So. They say that I'm like, yeah. oh my god, I've never had eucalyptus. Well, because you're because you're, you're, you're a rapper. You're a rapper. You can you can fucking rap with a whole ass sore throat and everything. <laughs> like and have even then it'll probably give you like a vibe. Like yeah. a, you know what I mean? Like yeah. Like my mom had a sore throat one time before she performed the the. What's that shit called? It's called the Peacock now, but it used to be called the Nokia Theater. Yeah. Yeah. So she performed that shit two times um, back to back in 2010, had a sore throat, powered through both nights, and it gave her like a rocker edge in her voice. Yeah. She still hit every note. I get that. Yeah. Well, I have vocal cord nodules, so like I've always had a really bad problem with my vocal cords. Like there's a particular place in my range that I can't even hit. It just turns into whisper and... I should probably get surgery, but I'm just like, at this point, I'm like, I can't afford a break in my career. Yeah. So I'm like, I'll just retire and I'll just. Also, I feel like, I feel like that's just like, I wouldn't necessarily want to get surgery for something like that. Cause I yeah. thought about it. Cause I, you, you hear so many stories and everything. And mm-hmm. I feel like that's just like, like the progression of your character. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like who we are on stage is like um, yeah. almost character and like, this yeah. is how that person's developing. You can't necessarily fuck with the natural with the natural energy of that. Yeah. No, I agree. I think um th- when I hear old music of mine and my voice was like Ehh! and then now I hear it and it's like people are like, "Oh, you sounded so different." And it's like, "Yeah, I c- can't go back there. Like this is what I sound like." Like 
And it's cool, you know? I mean, people like raspy voices. And I also feel like I sound like a cartoon. So I'm like, I would like to voice a cartoon at some point. Because it I makes sense. I would love to do some voice acting myself. Right? Yeah. I, I feel like it's so fucking dope, dude. I always used to, when I watched Mrs. Doubtfire and he had that job where he was just like <laughs> voice. I was like, that is the best job ever. <sighs> you could do it in your pajamas. You just show up. Oh, that's true. I've heard voice. a lot of stories like that. Yeah. When I was on Queen of the South, I had to do some voiceovers for... You were on Queen of the scene. South? Yeah, I was like on two seasons, but I, I had the, there was some scenes that were like lit, like in the moment, we're like getting chased, there's guns, there's everything, it's all crazy. And then I have to go at 9 a.m. and they're like, all right, so all that energy, just put it back in there. I'm like, that is dope. I'm like, what the fuck? So it didn't sound as, I'm trying to sound anim- animated and I just didn't sound it, but I was like, whatever. <laughs> But it was good, yeah. I was I was on there. It was a fun experience. I want to act more. They definitely treat you and pay you well compared to rappers. I haven't had any acting experience so far, but that was my first dream for a long time. Oh. When, I w- when I was seven, eight, I, uh, I figured out how to make uh, stop motion Lego movies. Oh. So I was like, do you know what stop motion is? Yeah. Yeah, so you take pictures but frame by frame, and mm-hmm. I like I didn't have a, what's it called? It's because if you touch the camera, it's gonna move a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I had a remote that, and I would literally just not touch the camera at all, take the picture with the remote, and then move the Legos one by one. That's awesome. My mom thought it was the coolest shit ever. That's so, so cool. But yeah, remember when I used to do that with the little homies, and I used to have my little VHS camera, and I used to like have the little fucking car passing by. Mm-hmm. But at the at least you were you were eight. Yeah, I was. Yeah, eight. I was. I was fifteen. What the fuck was I doing? Like, why didn't I? Why wasn't I doing cool shit? I had no quinceañera, but, but I'm with my VHS fucking with the little fucking low rider. Cool. I think that's cool, though, because I feel like <laughs> I should have been, like, focusing on being a kid and then instead of just, like, fucking in my room until four in the morning making Lego movies. And then you, like, you're 15. You're trying to figure out your life then. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. I'm like, I want to be a homie. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense with the baggy pants. That, that's that's my thing. I have I have a lot of FOMO because I, I spent a lot of time um, trying to, like, grow up really fast. Oh, you know what I mean? So yeah. like now I I'm, I'm going to go. I, I, I've been in Coachella uh, twice before. The first time I passed out. <laughs> That's Jenica's fault, though. But Jenica. Yeah. What'd she do? No, it's just because we. Uh, so this is Coachella 2019. And um, it was, you is know, the, the, des- the desert is hot. The desert is hot. And so I uh, we get into the bar area and I have a drink. I think it was just one drink. And then. But I hadn't had enough water. And I kept telling Jenna, sister, I need a lot of water. Um, I need a lot of water. And she's like, wait, wait, wait. And then she never gives me the fucking water. So then we go to see Jaden Smith, our first artist that we're ever going to see, the whole festival. And um, mind you, I was 18 then. I had just started smoking. And I see everyone fucking take a hit of their, their fucking weed pens. And I decided to take a hit of mine. And lights out i fucking passed out right away and oh she she was the one that had to take me to the emergency tent is that when billy eilish was there or no maybe maybe was actually. it i was there it was childish gambino was a headliner oh wait i can't remember that. No. maybe like ariana grande and billy eilish were there i don't know Why i'm not sure know? but that was 2019 i remember that for sure so mm-hmm. i passed out i was pissed that i passed out so i ended up going home then i went back for uh 2022 and i had a great fucking time. I saw Grupo Firme. Nice. I saw The Weeknd and Swedish House Mafia. And that was really cool. And I'm going back again this year. And nice. I'm really excited because I became a Peso Pluma fan. And oh, so I'm going to go. That's awesome. I'm going to go see Peso. And I'm also going to Beyond. Oh, that's so dope. I I'm, think I'm going to Coachella, actually. I'll are see you? you there. Yeah. All right, bet. For sure. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, I know that we saved the date for it um because santa fe clan's gonna be there and oh that's true yeah. that's true i'm excited to see him i've yeah. always i've been wanting to see him for like three four years already yeah so awesome. we'll all be over there and shit um bunch of mexicans in the desert is gonna be fucking lit when i went what was it i went and saw sunday service by kanye that I was 2019 that was, was 20, it uh-huh. okay bet yeah because i was fucking crying like i was literally like i was you cried at sunday service yeah i mean i, I was on molly but <laughs> See, I went. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I wasn't on Molly that morning, but I had been the night before. So by the time I saw it, you're like coming down. You don't know what's happening. You're crying. I got shades on. No, I I'm cried. Like, Kanye, like it was very beautiful. Like the whole thing is yeah. beautiful. I went. So, I went. I went to the Jesus is King premiere insane. at the Forum, and then I went uh, to four Sunday services after that. That's fucking. And cool. I, I cried. I cried almost every time. Like I, 
I you know Big Kanye fan? Yeah. My brother is too. My brother is like, did you see that they're taking it down from Apple Music? What, what? the fuck is that? What, Vultures? Yeah. No oh, way. Heck, no. I guess the distributor, I don't know what the fuck is going on with I'm the distributor. right now. I haven't yeah. even gotten to listen to the full album all the way through. But yeah, no, but Jesus is King is something that definitely shifted my like my life because like I um I, I first like I feel like I felt the presence of God for the first time when I was like 13, 14. And mind you, like I grew up like my uncle's a pastor. Mm. My uncle's a pastor, but I I I can't even say I necessarily felt the spirit of God in that church. Mm. I felt it somewhere else. And um and I I can definitely say like that was like a, a stepping stool for me just like the way i'm living my life now mm-hmm. you know what i mean i meditate i pray almost every morning i try my best to do it every morning but you know some days you just you miss out on it mm. but um a big part of shifting my perspective was that i got a very spiritually connected in 2020 mm. and it led me to like um a lot of revelations a lot of revelations that i'm having now and just things that have come to light about my family since then so that's amazing. I mean, yeah. Like with me, obviously, I, I was raised very Catholic, but um, I am not very. You know, I'm not practicing Catholic, but yeah. I, I believe in God. Obviously, would and, you would um, you would you say like it's like at the core of who you are as a person? Because like I I grew up in a Christian family, but like I can't say like I'm a practicing Christian. Like I I read yeah. all all the Bible verses every day, but I do like. My communication with God and my conversation with God is constant. Mm-hmm. Like it's consistent. It's constant. It's every day. I'm grateful. I pray. I bless myself before. And some of the things are more like um, tradition. You know what I mean? Like 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 this Virgen de Guadalupe is not so much for Catholicism as much as this tattoo was for my dad. My dad had a Virgencita in my crib. He had one always hanging up on the wall. And he when I, I didn't see him for 14 years. And then when I saw him again, we went to... Um, El Castillo de Chapultepec. No, no, not um, um, the fucking Tepeyac where they saw the Virgen de Guadalupe. And I asked him, I was like, I, I want you to buy me. I know my dad doesn't have very much money, but I was like, I want you to buy me another Virgencita. Like, just because it means a lot to me from you. So I want you to do it and like buy me that. And so he did. And so this is always just more about my dad and just tradition. But like my belief in God and like my relationship with God is mine and mine only. And it's just personally there's no religion attached to it i feel the same way i don't feel like anyone could tell me like about my relationship with god yeah you know what i mean like it's just like i i can't even say i follow like like religion towards that extent but like like i said those core beliefs like like i still get uncomfortable if i see the number 666 like yeah, that, yeah exactly. that, that just makes me feel a type of way but even then like i just because i also believe in like you know seeing synchronicities like 11 11 444 and yeah, that kind of too. stuff mm-hmm. so but yeah I get what yeah you mean. exactly and it's like with my brother i mean i don't want to speak for him but i know for a while at least he was atheist or i don't know what i don't know where you stand i, I, on I went that. i went i went through a minute being atheist but 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 like i always told him i was like you can believe what you want. You can do what you want. I can tell you what I feel and you can, you're your own human being. But what I will say is not to disrespect other people's beliefs. You know yeah. what I mean? Like don't go out of your way to just be a menace into people's yeah. beliefs. Yeah. And I even feel that way about like people about like, that like that feel like they're atheist or agnostic or something like mm-hmm. that. Like, Cause I feel like your relationship with a higher power, whether it be God, Buddha, Jesus, anything like that, that has to come in your own time. You yeah. know what I mean? You have to, you're part of, you're going on your own journey and everything. Yeah. So I'm, I'm very much about respecting people's beliefs because yeah, there's something absolutely. that led them to that point. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that's the biggest thing with me. I'm like, you can, you can do whatever you want. Like a couple of my cousin, different people have said what they feel about God. Do your thing. However, make sure that you respect everybody's beliefs. Make sure that you have some sort of, because just being a fucking kind person, you know what I mean? Yeah, But I course. will... I'm not ever going to push my beliefs on people, but I will say just be open to it and look for it because there is some sort of imposing imposing with anything is not cool. Yeah. Like just 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 be open minded. And that is my biggest advice to people I love is just like, hey, possibly, you know, just look for it. If 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 it's around, go ahead. But um, but no, everything to do with me and God is just personal and 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 a living in gratitude too that's just even a a vibrational thing that's just waking up and looking around and looking at plants and looking at animals and looking at my child and the life that i've made i am just grateful that's it if i walked around here not being grateful what the fuck did i do this shit for you know yeah even when even when things are hard like i'm like 
You know, there's always someone going through more than what you're going through. Absolutely. You know, so you just got to be grateful for all the things that are going right, even if shit is going bad. Yeah. Bad, like, you know, if you're having a bad day, you know, there's always something to be grateful for. Absolutely. Like, my siblings are alive. Like, I have fucking great nieces and nephews, my yeah. godson, and things like that. I have someone great supporting me. And, Aww. you know, things like that just every little thing that's going right just be grateful for that no matter how bad the, how bad the day is going i know you're gonna make me finish my first drink i can't believe i'm on you i'm gonna it? finish my first drink because what the fuck do you want to finish it let's finish this and then i have to pee real quick because my bladder has been going crazy for no, like the last ahead. 20 minutes Hold on. i'm gonna have to pee after this yeah um that bathroom i know my brother would have a great time analyzing the bathroom <laughs> analyze <laughs> yeah well because my brother's a painter He's a painter. He's a he has his own painting company and everything. And he just anytime, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just because like my brother, my brother. <laughs> I just remembered recently. My brother got a letter. Uh, well, not my brother, but my sister got a letter from her dad in prison. And my brother's always kind of been like a little bit more, um, just like distant from having a relationship with him. But yeah. he sees like uh, my sister got a letter, and he's like, oh damn, I want to see how this fool writes. <laughs> that's that's what he was focused on not the right, content of the letter writes, yeah. but how he writes because because he's, he's like that so but um yeah no that bathroom is dope the sink the the, whole, the details above the bat of the, above the bathtub it's awesome yeah no it was it was like that this whole place is like you know spanish revival yeah. and i think it's crazy because everybody um you know nowadays everybody wants a very futuristic brand new house or whatever and, and when i wanted this place it was mostly because i was like it has a lot of character it's spanish revival it's from the 19 what when was this 1930s 1920s oh yeah yeah this Something is this like because like you're you're near san fernando so this is very like old school territory you know what yeah I mean? and and which is what i liked i was just like i can have a condo i mean i have a house that was a more n new build and, you know, I mean, my tenants love it, but this, I wanted it to be what the fuck it is. You know, if, if, like, if people tore shit like this down and then they don't, what the fuck? This is history. Like, yeah, this is yeah I, I feel like that, too. You know, I like, feel like that even like with my mom's stuff. Like, yeah. It, like, like, because we have so much archives. My mom was so great about like bookkeeping and, and like just keeping like emails on printed and everything like that. Aww. Great, great bookkeeper. So it's just like. Even like a water bill, like I feel bad like getting rid of that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that's that's fucking dope. That's me. Sometimes people, my friends, our what? mom would keep a lot of papers too. <laughs> Just the whole bunch of random papers. Hey, anyone, Remember, anyone she would pull it out. <laughs> anyone out there though? Anyone out there? Like, if you're an artist or anything, like, God keep, damn, keep Johnny. your shit on paper. <laughs> keep your shit on paper. It is like very important. Like. I'm gonna continue my saying. Yo, you, well, you guys are built. It's not even that different. much. Oh shit, it is. Y'all are built I'm be fine, though. different. <laughs> 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 that laugh right there was crazy. That needs to be a fucking TikTok, bro. That laugh right there, you, you, you savage, you, bro. God damn. I'm sorry. I'm still celebrating my birthday. It's no, happy birthday to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy <laughs> birthday. What, you know? Oh, I'm just going to adjust this. Oh, you're going to fix it? You turn okay. It. That way when you turn it. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm going to. Onta la cucharita. You know what? Oh. Fuck it. I'll use, this. I'll use this, the fork. I'll use it. Didn't I fucking. Didn't you say you were going to use thank a you. fork? It's like a whisk. He didn't understand my whole concept. You guys know that I use a fork to mix things because it's closer to a whisk. Pull me up a picture of a whisk. I'm gonna try please. it. I'm gonna try it. He gave Pull me, me the, he, gave, he gave me the spoon, but I was ready to try. Can the I get a squirt, please? Thank you so much. I know you don't. You know what I mean? Like jeans sponsored look. by Liquor <laughs> Valenciaga. <laughs> exactly. A whisk has holes. Makes sense that if you mix things, why wouldn't you use a fork which has holes can as opposed also, to a fucking can, can you spoon? Also pass me a bottle it's gonna of water create to a tidal wave. You feel me? Thank you so much. You're still in your first one. I'm on my third one. Oh, right I thought now. he was gonna be like, "You're still talking about that shit." <laughs> no, I he was I gonna just, be like, "You still talk about your stupid ass fork." <laughs> no, I just realized <laughs> that you're barely on your. This is your second one now, no? Yeah, because this I'm is my third not one, guys. Like built for tough like you. God damn, I'm like. <sighs> it's only gonna get better with age. I promise. Uh, yeah, clearly, but me, I'm like. 
Oh. I'm over here out drinking her. <laughs> First of all, no, my dad and my mom both don't drink at all. Like they don't even drink. Like my mom will have maybe like a beer on a happy like New Year's or something. My my dad, same thing. Like they don't. I knew my dad was going through a very tough time one day when he came home drunk because I was like, I've never seen my dad drunk. It, come to find out he was down bad. You know, what? I was like, holy shit. Cheers. Thank you. Um, yeah. Mm. I always feel like um, people, um, they would like. That they would say like they would they, they would judge my mom a lot in the media, especially when she was here, mm-hmm. like uh, because she would drink on stage and stuff. They would call her alcoholic or anything like that. But my mom really wasn't about like drinking like that. Like, yeah, it was because it was a part of her work. Yeah. But even then, she was very functional. Yeah, like, and it's a fucking vibe. Like if anything, your mom is inspirational to me, and I always I always looked up to her as far as like that was fucking badass like what the fuck like she was so fucking badass every everything the more i found out about her the more i thought she was fucking dope super big fucking hero to me and a big inspiration and when i drink on stage i get it people tell me all the time oh like you have a fucking problem i'm like bro i pop a champagne bottle on stage me vale verga like i'll be out here like doing my fucking thing or whatever but that doesn't mean that i don't still wake the fuck up in the morning and do the interviews no, yeah. you that, know? that was my mom my mom could not sleep beyond six hours like, exactly. even if she had been drinking the night before. Even when I'm, yeah, and when I'm on tour, it's like, you still have to wake up for those morning shows on radio. You still have to do all that fucking shit. Like, a lot of the people that try to judge you, it's like, you don't know what I have to fucking do yeah. to make sure that I do my job, that I'm still a parent, that I'm still there. Like, there's never been something that I'm, like, missing because I'm hung over. Like, oh, sorry, son, I can't. Like, no, bitch, I'm showing the fuck up. I don't care what I have to do, put myself through, but I know that I'm going to show up as a mother i'm gonna show up as a yeah. partner and i'm gonna show up for my job as a sister like you know what i mean yeah, if see, anything that was that was my mom yeah mm-hmm. yeah it's like she would like even something i know that would always be part of her morning regardless is always like on her knees praying yeah like no matter what was happening the night before always on her knees praying yeah. so i yeah. i really feel like a big part of that is why she was so blessed you know yeah no it's it's fucking beautiful and and in a in a Perfect example of a strong woman. I feel like, you know, like I'm telling you that. And, 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 you know, you're like, oh, you're collecting us like Infinity Stones. To me, honestly, like imagine having an opportunity to like you, be you, homies with people who are. You, you know what? There's five siblings <laughs> and she has a track with my mom. So there's six Infinity Stones. <laughs> there's like, yeah, there's perfect six Infinity Stones. She's really collecting us. I <laughs> look, it, it's been very natural. Yeah. Whatever's happened with me and anyone around in your family was organic as fuck. I, I agree. I completely agree. <laughs> so it just is what it is, you know? But but with you being a baby, not not a baby, sorry, but like No, the baby I get you, I get you. And just like I you know, like I said, like there's a lot that goes into me with my son. I just wanna make sure I'm a good mom. I wanna make sure that uh, yes, I could be a rapper, I could be a rock star, I could do whatever the fuck, but I'm just like, bro, like my biggest thing is like when I was pregnant and when I had him, I was just like, I w- this is the one thing I can't fuck up. I can how, fuck how, up anywhere else, but I can't fuck this up. How was your pregnancy? Was it happy? Like, I had yeah, I had, a, yeah, I had a good time. I mean, I feel like the only thing was that one time, and I feel like I've told this story before, was the time when I looked at him, his dad, and I was just like, oh my god, I'm having a kid with this guy. <laughs> but he was going through a lot, you know. He was yeah. getting out the military. He was just drunk all the time. I was just like this. Fucking I I asked because there's like um there's like that big belief of like however you're going through your pregnancy mm-hmm. is like is gonna reflect in your child's life. Yeah. So like I I, I always feel like um because I my sister always told me like my mom had a very happy pregnancy with me mm-hmm. and I feel like any kind of like just depression or anything I've battled growing up has always been a result of what's happened after. Yeah. Because I tend to live life very happily. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I, I tend to live life very happily. But even then, little things like my sister, Jackie, her second daughter, uh, Genevieve, she's very good about saving money. Like, mm-hmm. this little girl is amazing at saving money. Like, mm-hmm. she does not spend on anything. She's like, oh, I'm just saving money in case I want to buy something. She's, like, nine years old. Aww, she's gonna be ten. Nice. She's going to be 10 this year. And I'm like, were you focusing a lot on saving money at that time? She's like, actually, I was. I was very focused on saving money like, during my pregnancy with her. So it's just like little things like that, you know, I like, I like identifying those little things. Yeah. No, with me, I was good. I was 
There was nothing that I could say was like super crazy other than do you, you remember when before I knew I was pregnant, I was in San Diego and I was just like laying around for like a month and I just couldn't figure it out. First of all, I have a like condition where like they didn't think I could have kids. So when when I was throwing up nauseous, it was like, you know, whatever. I didn't think it could be pregnancy. People were like, are you sure you're not pregnant? I'm like, no, like I can't be pregnant. So I'm fine. Like, no. And so my mom was like taking me to the store. She's like, you need to take, uh, what is it? Baking soda with lemon. She's like, you need this and remedios and whatever. And I was like, okay. But I remember right before I was about to fly from San Diego to back to Texas, I was like, uh, I ate McDonald's and then I threw it up. Mm. And the moment I threw up, I looked in the mirror, you know, there was a mirror behind the, the, mm-hmm. the toilet and I look up and I just get a glimpse of myself. And I was like, that's the first second I ever was like, are you pregnant? But I was like, no way. I was like, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen Breaking Down Part 1, Twilight? That's a, She had a Bella moment right there. That was my Bella moment? I've never seen that shit. What is that? <laughs> it's uh, it's because she's having a baby with this fucking vampire fool. And they're in Rio. And she throws up like some chicken. And she looks at her, herself in the mirror. And she's realizing she's pregnant and shit. So like, you had That your, was me. You had your whole ass Bella moment. <laughs> I literally looked at myself and I was like, there's no fucking way. So like, whatever, I get on you the plane. You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I don't, I guess I had a Bella moment. I've never seen the movie, but I watch it now. So yeah, I fly home. And then I told him, I was like, I need to go to the hospital because I've been f- for like a month, like fucked up. So I go and literally the doctor's like, any chance he can be pregnant? I was like, no. And then he's like, are you sure? I was like, no, they run blood tests. They do this, they do that. Then they bring the machine in. And I was like, what's that about? And they're like, oh, we just want to make sure of something. And so I was like, okay. <laughs> And then they do a sonogram or whatever. Oh, we just want to make sure. Yeah, like he just was like, he didn't even tell me. He's like, we just want to make sure of something. I was like, okay. So they do the sonogram and then he goes, do you want him to step out of the room? And I was like, no, anything you want to tell me, you could tell me in front of him. And she, they're like, okay, are you sure? I was like, yeah. And they're like, you're pregnant. I was like. What the fuck? I remember just doing this and start immediately crying because, you know, I wanted to be yeah. a rapper. And I'm like, at that time, you can't be a rapper and have a baby. Like. I'm like, my career's done. My, my wannabe career is done. For real? At that time, it was a long time. Dude, what, 13 but that was years really ago? Went through, what went through your mind? Yeah, I wanted That's to be so a crazy. rapper, and I'm not going to be a rapper anymore. So I literally just cried, and oh I was like, God. okay, bet. I'm going to cry right now. Why? I mean, Because that happened with me and my mom. Really? You never knew this? No. So my mom had already had four kids, and she finally had a hit on the radio when, um, when she got pregnant with me. Oh. And so everyone told her that it wasn't time to have a baby so she told my dad she was gonna abort me oh my god yeah she was gonna abort me she went to the clinic she was ready she was ready to do everything and then when they were ready to do the procedure she they couldn't find me (laughs) they couldn't find me you hid yeah i hid so they couldn't find me she thought it was like the craziest thing ever and so she left the hospital and she's like um well first they told her he could be in for in your fallopian tubes Mm -hmm. and it's gonna pop one day and you could you could die and so she she's like you know what i gotta go perform i gotta go do my thing and and so she left that weekend to go perform and she went back and i was there and that's when she decided to keep me oh, and, oh my god and, that's so- and so the day after i was born on february 12 2001 is when her next hit on the radio started to blow up february uh querida socia and so she was like I actually brought a lot of joy to her life. Aww. Like she like, it, cause like her fans started getting excited for her pregnancy and everything. It was, it was like not, it was not what she expected at all. <laughs> that's so fucking So like cute. when you said that right now, I was like, wow. No. Yeah. That was, that was, that's what happened. Like, I just was like, okay, I'm done. Mind you, I'm the type of person that as things happen, then that's what it is. I start crying. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to be a rapper anymore. I start immediately thinking what the fuck's going to happen after. But then I'm also thinking, like I said, at 15, I had that tumor that they were just like, you're probably not going to have any babies or whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. Like whatever. So th- I'm also thinking, well, then it's a miracle if I am pregnant magically, yeah. like what the fuck? So then I'm just like, okay, then this is what it is. I'm going to have a kid. He was like, he was happy immediately so then i felt bad because i'm just like so he's happy and i'm like you know what i mean like i feel bad so then i just start feeling like what the fuck 
And I'm like, okay, bet. I'm pregnant. We're having a kid. I'm, you know, I'm already married. We already own a house. Like, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to figure it out. We're going to do this. Like, I'm just like, you know, it's not like a, a, this weird situation, which I, I, I was very angry at some people because it's like, when I told them I was pregnant, they're like, so you're going to get rid of it. And I'm just like, what the f I'm like, I'm married. I have a house. My house that I bought has a playground. Like, I'm like, why the fuck? I'm like, I'm just like, I'm a teenage pregnancy where I don't know what the fuck. I'm like, I am set. I'm like, I'm good. And so that's it. That's what I thought. And that I had so a great crazy. pregnancy. I ate pretzels with cheese and ices and I don't know. Then I just waited for him to. He didn't want to come out, though. That's all. Oh, like, that's crazy. He was overdue. He didn't want to come out. They're like, they're like inducing me. They want him to come out. He's comfortable. And I tell him now. And he's like, yeah, I was, I was probably OK. I was probably comfortable. I was like, yeah, you well, I don't want to move. I don't want to move. Yeah. He's a Taurus. He's a hard headed. He, he wanted to come out when he wanted to come out. But painful delivery happy to have him the fucking highlight of my life the whole he gave me a new perspective Aww. and um jennifer i'm sorry you lost your miracle baby that breaks oh, my heart i'm so sorry for you jennifer what that breaks the oh i'm sending I'm a lot of love your way i know fuck let's take a shot or... i know fuck jennifer to you we love you is this the same? Yes! Oh my god! Go! Oh my god. Go! <laughs> he is good! Bruh. Alice. Bella? Cause he's a vampire. He doesn't know that he doesn't know I'm not 100 percent sure. Vampires can give bitches prayer. Like where she's in the mirror. Oh, I think she's in the mirror here. Right there, right there, right there. Because they told you you couldn't you couldn't have one, no? Yeah, but why? Wait, because I've never seen this. Yeah, no. So he's a he's, he's a Dracula. A, yeah, he's a vampire. He's a vampire, and he's undead. So it's just like, can he? Does he even have like living sperm in him? And it, it turns out he did. And they had a human vampire hybrid ch child. And what? I've never seen these movies, <laughs> which is crazy. I feel like the biggest movies, like like I've never seen Harry Potter. I've never seen Star Wars. I've never seen um. This shit. What is this shit called? I never seen Harry Potter. I never seen Harry Potter. Yeah, like I've never seen any. Like I feel like I would have to like heavily smoke to watch it and be able to. It is fucking great. It is fucking great, especially if I'm you're not smoking. Gonna, I'm not gonna lie. There's a possible chance that our next podcast is gonna move, and I'm kind of glad because I'm so drunk right now. But I also want to keep drinking because we're having a good time. You barely mm. have been drinking your water, and I'm hanging because I know how to drink my water. I talk. Why is he frustrated with me? First of all, this is his first time hanging out with me, and he's already frustrated. No, with it's because she's like, down. she's like, oh, you guys, you guys like, you guys know how to drink and everything. Yeah, we know how to drink, but also I know how to my, balance my water. Motherfuckers just don't know how to drink. They don't, know how, they don't know how to balance their water. You can get fucked up and drink a good amount of water at the same time and still be cognitive. Pero por qué me está regañando? Like, I'm what sorry, the fuck I'm very on? passionate about this subject. A lot of people don't listen to me. They're like, no, I don't want to drink water. I don't want to drink water. It's first of all, I love water. I love water as well. Because I, I love, love salt. alkaline. A 9.0 alkaline water is my shit. You want to know why I drink so much water? Is because I love salt. And I get puffy when I drink salt. So I just drink a lot of fucking water, which sucks because of the water retention. I get it. But shut up. But <laughs> <laughs> but I have to porque me da sed. Like I feel like a fucking cow, bro. Okay, you don't have the fucking evil laugh at me. <laughs> no, I actually do have an evil ass laugh. I've had an evil ass laugh since I was a kid. Yeah, now that I'm thinking <laughs> of you. Him, look at him naughty. Look at him naughty. <laughs> What kind of evil, bro? Why is this? <laughs> the moo, ha, ha, ha. Somebody make a fucking Instagram called Johnny's Evil Laugh. <laughs> <laughs> or a TikTok called Johnny's Evil make, Laugh. They're gonna make this shit a sound. I know it's gonna be right. It's gonna what be fuck? Slaney Janae's version or something like that. Who's gonna bro. make this TikTok sound? Wait, I'm like, wait. Contestame loco. Loco, I like that she. Are you texting your talk your toxic girl? No, I'm texting the. I'm texting. I'm texting the. You know, I told you who was gonna come. Ah. Uh. Publicist, because they're like this day, but I'm like, is that a Tuesday? Because honestly, I would love to have a live. Uh -huh. Her next guest is publicist. Shut um, up. Used to be my mom's publicist as well. They passed together. 
wait, no, then wait, no. How am I texting somebody who passed? No. <laughs> <risa> es que a, antes de que se murió el, el, el wey <risa> He was his publicist Oh Yeah, they had, a, they had the oh, same Oh, I thought pro- I was texting your mom I was like, no. how, how am I texting them from right now? Yeah, that confused me too I was like, wait, but then the person we're going to have on the podcast passed? Yeah, yeah, no. their, their, passed? their publicist used to be my mom's publicist as well but they, And passed they, they passed with my mom in the Somebody plane else. Oh, yeah. okay. oh my God! Arturo, Arturo Rivera, shout out to him. He's an amazing, amazing person. Oh my God! Era un cabrón, pero buen policista. O sea, that's fucking amazing. Shout, uh, actually, let's do that right now, bro. Let's take a shot, yeah. yeah. Because honestly, like I just freed up the rest of my evening. And you know what? And you know, you said, you said, you said that's weird that he would be doing it because he um is so private. However, oh, that's a fucking, I'm like, if we, if we can make it be on a Tuesday and be live, I love me yeah. alive. To Arturo Rivera. To Arturo Rivera. Me la tomo toda? Yeah. Tia, no, que mi tia se tome una. Tia, 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 tia. 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 You too. Tia. No, my evening just freed up. I'm not going to tell you who was supposed to, actually, I might tell you. Actually, you know what? I'm going to tell you who is going to be on the podcast. Sí, he, uh, give me the other one. The other one. Uh, the ass. Oh. oh, the ass. You like ass, huh? Yeah. You like, okay. So you, you, but you guys. We play together. Swing. Yeah. Okay. So one's getting the titties, one's getting the ass. Y'all both, y'all doing everything. We love to share. I. All right. Oh, we going to get lit as fuck now. Let's go. Let's Cheers. Go. Cheers. I love you. Mm-hmm. Cheers. I th- oh, they're telling each other they love. I was like, I love y'all too. Like, who? We all love everybody. <sighs> Snow is texting the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Not us taking a shot for the person and then they're like, bruh. Snow is texting the dead. <laughs> I'm sorry. I love that my evening just freed up because now, one, we get to get lit as fuck and fucking turn up. Two, I haven't hmm. fucking really slept, bro. I'm like, God damn. Jennifer's like, her damn her ADHD is kicking in. <laughs> bro. Because. Okay, hold on. Go to the... I'm excited for that podcast. Can I stay? I'm just. <laughs> no, I'm telling you, no, we're moving it. We're moving it, which mm, I'd rather mm. go live for that because it's weird. Yeah. Okay, not right? it's weird, but it's like. It's not weird. It's just you, no. You got to give him the full treatment. You know what I mean? Like, he he he. he has I want to do a live one with you. We we will. We but will. But you're for sure. fucking timing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to finish. What's EP today? Right Thursday. Now. Okay. I'm trying to launch music in April. You know, it's almost the back half of February. I know. I'm I don't. To, I'm trying to move into my first apartment right now. Okay. Yeah. No. No. I just got approved for my first apartment. Okay. I'm gonna say it really quick. I'm gonna say it really quick. Who it is? <laughs> I think I think there's gonna be a difference between people who do it pre-recorded and then when you do it live, is it's like it, do it motherfucking it's live. Because this is cool, we have a great audience with us right now, but I can only imagine how it is when it's live. Live, and, and I know because I watch my sister's podcast we'll do it live, yeah. live and then and both of them actually. Like the value of this is because it's like when it's live, it's like bitch, anything can fucking happen. What's up? You do gotta know that I I am very respectful. So like it's not mm-hmm. like it's not live where it's like I'm gonna throw you some weird headline questions. Like no, I want you to feel comfortable because at the same time I, we at my house. No, nah, but even then, like I'd rather like it, okay, like you said, like some weird headline questions. I'd rather it come like right here straight up instead of some motherfucker that's trying to like yeah, you know, I mean get so exclusive. Yeah, no. I've, with me, I'm like I like fucking with people. Like that's my peoples. You know what I mean? So it's like we're here. We home, like, what's up? What what you doing? Nothing. I just feel amazing right now. Me it's too. Fucking, it's it feels fucking, good. It's about to be 3 p.m. On, all right, I'm just going to give you all a little hint. Thursday. Por mujeres como tú. Amor hay hombres como yo. I love that shit. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Wait, can you so, fucking imagine? Wait, can I actually ask you? So, ask me. Banda Mariachi Norteño. You gotta fuck one, marry one, kill one. Go. Banda Mariachi Norteño. 
Mary Mariachi. Mm. Okay. Fuck. Wait, what was it? Banda Mariachi Norteño. Fuck. Damn, that's right. hard. Because <laughs> I'm like, hard. I can't kill him. Fuck I, don't, I don't even know my and choice I would yet. Marry, I would marry Mariachi off top. I would marry Mariachi off top. But. It's hard, right? Yeah, those other two. I'm like, I don't know which one I want to fuck or which one I'm I want to marry. Here, I'm over here making songs with both Banda and Norteño, so it's very hard for me to choose. Let me fuck both of them and kill both of them. <laughs> but no, honestly, yeah. honestly, I know. I know I could perform the shit out of mariachi if I had a traje and everything. I know I could do that. I got a traje in the house right now. Eh? Really? We're sombrero. We're going to put the sombrero on. We're going to fucking uh, sing. Yeah. Are you joking? No, bro. Listen. And that's the only reason why, like, I, I know that I announced, like, oh, at six, whatever. I'm moving whatever at whatever. Like, whatever. Like, it's Pepe. Like, it's whatever. But also, this motherfucker made me pre-record this and his date got changed, bro. It I'm, wasn't my fault, though. It was my sister's. Who? Which one? Cheeky, should we? Because we have the same producer. I'm fucking text her. Don't right tell now. her, tell like, her, tell her right fucking, now, please. Why the fuck? She stole my fucking studio date. I'm gonna text her right now. I'm like, Cheeky, why did you steal? See, she she could steal my studio date because she has, she has a whole label. She has a whole label. I'm, I'm a little independent artist, like doing everything myself. So, <laughs> my little baby studio. Date. Time. Oh, date. Yeah. <laughs> I have to get and look a- and look what she said. What's her last text? Hi. Hi. What's good? Can you send me the link for the underwear? <laughs> the link for the underwear. I, I, That's my merch. Are, are those a uh, unit? You want some? Yeah. I would wear the fuck out of those. Yeah. Those are sexy. Yeah. I got some right now. I'll show you my merch. But. Yeah, that's my last cheekies text is. Can you send me the link for the underwear? And I sent her the link for the knee. She's underwear. in TJ right now. She's in TJ right now. Surprising. Um. A drag, a drag girl that, um, a drag person that, um, nice imitates her. So that's fucking lit. Have you had anyone imitate Look, you? Right before? there, Nieve. No, yeah. That's awesome. Right. I know. I did see these. I did see these actually. Right. Yeah, we want some. Yeah. No, I got y'all. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you all around. Now that my my. I promoted I'm on my own. I'm kind of happy. Oh yeah. You got an OF too. Yeah. All I just y'all motherfuckers it. got an OF, which is weird. I'm gonna tell you something, and maybe we'll cut this out from the real life but i'll tell you right now so i had gotten approached by somebody new year's is where we spent with these people and then they hit me up whatever whatever we're talking all this shit and then randomly when i was at jenica's podcast Mm -hmm. i was like hey do you know these people to her man the or the the person that's usually there i was like do you know this person and she was like yes that handles jenica's of and i was like I was like, oh, shit, that's crazy. Yeah, I was no, like, I'm doing this shit in, in, independent. I manage it myself. Nice. I, I, I get the full cut. Because they were like, they, they want to talk to me about my shit, right? And then they start linking me up with other lesbians that do OF. And I'm like, oh, this shit's getting serious. I'm like, what the fuck? Because mm. one, you know, one person I know that, you know, I'll be talking to or whatever, um, she want to do OF. So I'm just like, yo, this OF, I had never been on the website. Ever. Really? In my life. I had never typed in onlyfans.com wow until good for you. Good for you. the day that i was with jenica that's the day that we talked about the podcast and i was like let me save the name just in case because i was like let me do every night nights so then i went to onlyfans.com mm-hmm. signed up and i saved the name every night nights because it's my podcast i like that only because um when snapchat they took my name originally when i got on tiktok somebody else had my name they had like a hundred they had like 100,000 or 200,000 followers and it wasn't me and they had just my name saved. So mm-hmm. I was like, let me start saving my name on these websites because I don't want. I like I like when people do that. What? Like they Save like, my yeah, shit? Yeah, like, because it like shows like you believe in yourself. You yeah. I mean? and, and so again, I don't like for OnlyFans, I don't have any plans for myself, but I was like, podcast every night nights is a good name on, you know, maybe nah, yeah. if I have a guest and we want to, you know. Because I have a room right here and I have a stripper pole. So we're going to install. Well, it's not up yet, but <laughs> but I have somebody sent me two stripper poles. Like, look, my fan mail is crazy. This room right here is full of fan mail. So oh, but I got two stripper poles as a gift. You know, if y'all want to send me any other freaky shit, we could do it. We could practice it. 
you know, if you have furry uh, handcuffs, I mean, I have a lot of those, but, it, you know, whatever you want to send me. Freaky deaky. <laughs> Put it over there. <laughs> so we can have a room behind the podcast where you know, first of all, there's a king size bed, but there's also a twin size bed. And underneath that twin size bed is another twin size bed. She can get real only fancy. Gotcha. So all we're saying is, why don't we turn that room into some... I say manage it yourself, though. Yeah? Yeah. Manage it yourself. Manage it yourself. You'll get a bigger cut. It's everything. You're going to split it with I, I won't lie. I'm, I'm going to tell you all the truth. It is, uh, what is it? OnlyFans takes 20. They take no, so a like, percentage. So like I, it starts watering down into, mm-hmm. like, you're like, okay, so. It's like a whole ass thousand, thousand dollar difference from how much you actually gross and how much you make. Yeah. So, yeah. But, but even for me, like I said, my son had a problem with it. And I was like, I'm not going to do too much. I'm not trying to, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. even though I probably would make a lot of money if I really showed y'all. Because little do you know, I'm not just good at rapping. <laughs> God bless me in many ways. <sighs> no, I love Let's it. pour up a shot. Now that I don't, my, 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 look, the, the rest of my evening cleared up. No, I just decided I just decided to do it randomly because um, I had uh, some credit card debt to pay off after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you want the full truth, I'll tell you. Like I, no, it's because oh, like God. I, I've uh, I've really never really never used any of my trust money. I really never used any of my trust money, um, and I didn't really want to like take out of. I don't want to build the habit of taking out of my trust. You know what I mean? That's first of all. Being Mexican and having a trust is so beautiful. I'm Bruce Wayne. I'm the Mexican Bruce Wayne. I so I'm Tony Stark. But anyway, I didn't want to. I didn't want to take build the habit of taking out of my trust. So I'm like, you know what? How can I pay off this credit card debt real quick? I'm gonna do an OnlyFans, and I, I like, I like being naked. So that's beautiful. <laughs> okay, we love a nudist. Why does everyone need a chaser? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fucking. I'm sorry. It's just like. Ponte los huevos. Chill out, steel esophagus. Like that. <laughs> like we're all not that, okay? I know. I know. God damn. Okay, no, why yeah. do I need a chaser? But yeah, no, I was. I was yeah, mi tia. <laughs> tia. <laughs> Tía, que Pepe va a llegar. Me dieron fechas, otras fechas, pero que hoy está medio... Wait, we're kind of late. Hoy no. Y no le voy a echar mentiras. I'm kind of okay with that because ya me emborraché con este güey. Ira. I'm happy. I'm sorry. Ira, se te va a encontrar toda borracha. No, sí, no puedo. Y la verdad, no me preparé. Like, what questions do you ask a grown man like that? I imagine he honestly, like me and I, you. I, we have a lot relatable. Like we're like, okay, let's talk. Granted, I don't know. I don't know him. We like both that. we we both have swing both ways. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We both be doing our thing, but it's like with him, I'm like, like I should wear a bow tie, and I should be like, no. <laughs> I, como tú. I feel like he just Amor. wants to. I feel like he just wants to chill though. Hay hombres como yo. See, like, if you, okay, like, like, if you were, if you were, if you were going to invite my mom into the podcast, it was just, she, she was here. She would literally just want to do this with you. Like, I kid you not. Like. I can't even imagine. Duo, I just froze up thinking of having your mom. No, my mom, room. honestly, in the modern day world, honestly, she would be, in 2015, 2016, she would be a Snapchat queen. Honestly, I, I her stories would be the shit. I you know, know what's my... weird? Your mom and my mom have a picture together. No way. I promise you. My mom, yeah, my mom showed it to me. She has it. And they have a picture together. And I just was like, that's crazy. It's black and white. That's I have a crazy. picture and they're just like, I was like, that's insane. And now we're here getting drunk together. <laughs> I love that for us. It's lit. I love that for us too. Also, I have a better I have a better track for you, for you to hop on with my mom. I don't know why they put you on the one with, with with that one i have a better one anything i don't give a fuck okay no for me the reason that that shit was so cool was because your mom was laughing in the track and Mm -hmm. i had the acapella so i had an acapella of just your mom in the studio laughing that That shit gave me the chills bro like i just was like because i know how many times i've laughed in the studio and i'm like if i was to ever die and my son was to hear Mm -hmm. my sessions he'd probably be like 
that's my mom, you know? So I'm, I No, just, and I uh, stay doing that. I stay doing that. Like, I have I have my mom's whole hard drive session, and I can look through her sessions, and there'll be, like, takes where she'll fuck, like, well, she'll be fucking up, and she'll be like, fuck! Like that, and you can feel, me. like, her energy, you know what yeah. I mean? And I love having those takes. Because oh, my that, God, you're about to make me cry. That's, but that's so her, crazy. Because that's her as a person, you know what I mean? But, like, I kid you not, I, I swear there's better tracks for you to hop on than the one you got. I swear. Cause that's so crazy, like to just. Oh. I'll, I'll I'll show you when we're off camera. I'll show you yes. when we're off camera. But also, do we should we take another shot for that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> just no. It's just it's just it's just because I know, and I can't imagine my son hearing my voice. That's what I do for like. Oh my god, Johnny! I put together her last album. That's why, like, like I. Like I really like it's it's my passion. I I've always I've always been the one like that's like just very passionate about my mom's legacy, her music and everything. And I'm really proud to say like her last album, Mission Complida, is some. Are you really fucking crying? Yeah. <laughs> Can you show the cover of her last album real quick? I really just want to like. I'm very proud. I'm because sorry. it's like. Aww. What? What are you feeling? I should be hugging you. <laughs> <laughs> Why I'm are you doing. hugging me? Because that's how he is. I'm very strong, dude. I am very strong. This is my life. I can know? fucking tell. Like this is just my life. Like I've I've accepted. This is my destiny. Like this is the way. What the fuck? Everything was supposed to happen. You know, like nothing about my life has ever been normal. Like it's just only fitting for my mom to to have gone the way she went. And to like leave a legacy, like I'm, I've always, I always wanted to be a superhero growing up, and like I, I'm literally like a Batman, Tony Stark. You are. You're a fucking strong person. Jesus Christ. I'm. I honestly, I. That's my mom's last album. I put that together. This this art was put together. It was drawn by hand. Uh, in two three months by an artist named Kangri Guti, Guti Graphics on Instagram, and I really felt like this was like that's actually her handwriting. On the cover, the Mission Cumplida part, that is her handwriting. And so she wrote this song called Mission Cumplida. And I've had, like, the notebook since 2016, years before I even knew we were going to put this album together. And I I envisioned this cover. I envisioned this cover. It was, in, it was, it was inspired by a Michael Jackson cover. And I'm like, she deserves something like this. She deserves something like this. And I love... She has her Hollywood star on the bottom right corner, which she's going to be getting on her birthday this year. It was going to be June 27th, but we're actually going to do it on her birthday. I just got that news, so. When was her birthday? July 2nd. Oh July God. 2nd, so. Um, I'm very proud of this album. What the fuck, bro? Like, <laughs> She's crying and reapplying her makeup. Because I'm like, what? And, and then I, I love you for being like, girl, clean this right here. And, and more than anything, like, I know you understand this, like, as a rapper. Like, this is a concept record. My mom was very much about building concept albums. And so I, I'm very proud of what we did together. Um, it was produ- It was produced by Sergio Lizarraga and Pavelo Campo de Manda Mesa. And funny enough, my mom had two choices. Well, she had a couple, but one of them was um, when she finished performing in Monterrey. Because my mom passed um, after performing in La Arena Monterrey to 17,000 people. Um, so she got off the stage at 1 a.m. and she boarded the plane at 3. But she decided to go um, go on the plane, but she had the choice of going to see Banda Mese. And she wanted to do a song with them. Uh, and they had a, uh, a, a, met, uh, a table prepared for her and everything. And they des- she decided to go on, on the plane, unfortunately. But they ended up being the ones to produce this last album. So her last album while she was here was Joyas Presadas. And this is the first album that has, like, completely original material. So I, I was, I, I honestly, I'm very proud of what we put together. I listened to this album from top to bottom, and I'm like, this is a, a Jenny record, you know? So I'm very proud of it. I, as a son, as a fan, like, I'm, I'm just so passionate about my mom's legacy. And, um... Um, I'm really excited for people to be able to hear what she has coming and what we, what we've done, you know, I'm really, really Johnny, 
Fuck. Uh, no, it's just, it's so beautiful. Like, you don't zoom in a hip or something. Like, why? Am I? Well, why? Why? Well, I, want, I really want to know what you're feeling. Like, I feel like you're feeling something different as a mom, yeah, as, a, as a parent that exactly. I could never understand. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. That's what it is. It's just... Mm. I I don't I don't I don't I don't even necessarily think my mom thought like oh I was leaving sessions behind for my son to work on, but like now that we're here having this conversation, I feel like you know you're gonna be thinking about your music like that. You know what I mean? No, no. Like even with music, I um, you can zoom out. You know it's fine. Um, no, like no, I I have. Uh, thousands of sessions i i i, I can imagine have as, a, as a rapper yeah. things and and also i record myself so i travel with my laptop i travel with my microphone i know how to record myself so can you imagine how many mm -hmm. times i just pull my shit up and just record you can this into your thank you so much no but but really like i just have so much stuff like but it's just like to think of yeah, yeah, the similarity, it's just, it's just too much. I want to like, show you, I want to show you, so, like, <laughs> look, no, it's really, it's like, it's I really hate crazy. that, like, I mean, I love that it's pre-recorded that way, like, if anything needs to be, like, edited, but I'm just, like, oh, my God, like, <sighs> crazy, right? Crazy. First of all, I need water. You were right. You were actually right. Here's my water. So... We made this track, Mission Cumplida, out of 20 minutes where she was composing the song. She wrote this song, and there was a recording of her with um, uh, someone in the studio, like, getting the track for, like, 20, 30 minutes. And so we made the vocals out of that. They just made a last Beatles song out of that. So this is what came out of it. Um. That's a demo. Mientras tú tocabas cuando me llamabas, bueno pa insistir. Pedías la oportunidad, pero ya tenías el plan. Pues estabas terco siempre persistiendo hasta que di Jesús. Misión cumplida. Después de tanto negarme por mi bien o aceptarte, has entrado en mi vida. Después de no contestar tus llamadas constantes, so she wrote. She wrote this song, and it was able to be on her posthumous album. Like that's that's fucking dope in itself. For as far as posthumous albums go, like how many artists have to say like I wrote this song and it was on a posthumous album? You know what I mean? And this is what we made. And the piano was like a way of keeping like her demo intact, you know what I mean? So actually, I don't know if you remember, but the song you did, um, it was with it was a feature with another girl, Monica. Yeah. Uh -huh. So she wrote that song, Mission Cumplida, for Monica. Okay. She wrote that for her first. Was that her artist or something? Yeah, she was. Oh, okay, she cool. was trying to produce an artist named Monica. She, oh, okay. my mom, really wanted to enter her like Dr. Dre. She wanted to like take a step back from music herself. Yeah. And focus on producing other people. Okay. And she wrote that song for Monica, and in 2016, I found like her her writing, her writing for the lyrics, and then um, I didn't know she recorded it in the studio. So then I found that, and then. That's what we make the what we made the song out of. That's dope. Yeah, so that's the name of the album. It's like Mission Cumplida in so many senses. Like Banda MS finally getting to like make a track with her, not even just a track, a full album. And then also for us, like she she's able to like entregar su herencia a nosotros. You know. That's crazy. No, no, yeah. Mission Cumplida being like. I think that almost made me cry. Just being like, Mission Cumplida is just like, what the fuck? That's yeah. Just and and the reason By the way, your sister texted back. Yeah, what'd she say? She said, that's that's who I just checked right now. She said... <laughs> yes, but I wasn't aware. It was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> 
granted she went to record a song that i made for my sister so there's this song on her first album called feliz de la vida that i personally love but i've always envisioned it as something bigger and i went and made an arreglo with luciano luna people who are in regional music musica mexicana they know who luciano is luciano's a fucking goat he knows how to write. He's written some great hits. Ya lo superé. Yo si me enamoré. Voy a pistearme dolor. Like, amazing songs. And um, he produced a song, Feliz de la Vida, uh, about a year, a year and a half ago, which is a, a track off her first album, but I feel like it could be arranged so much better. And I've been asking her to re-record it, and I invested out of my own pocket to invest in the arreglo the arrangement and then um finally she decided to re-record it it's not ready yet though but she's gonna finish re-recording it and it's but she waited a fucking year jesus she waited a year to record the arrangement and the arrangement is awesome guys luciano is amazing you guys are so musical yeah because when she went to my um show she said she was watching my show and doing the math of what my show costs She's like, I was, she's like, I was deducting what my show costs from what your show costs. And she's like, I was just like, damn. I was, like, do, I was doing that as well, actually. I'm like. Even just looking yeah. at videos, like, I'm like, okay, I'm like, I'm seeing. You I have a DJ, I mean? right? I have a DJ. But here's the thing. I own my effects, my lights, my you tresses, my tour bus. Yeah. So like I that's like, awesome. Yeah. So like the things like that that are on there. That's why she was like doing the math because she was just like, you own all these things, and no, I don't own it. Ido does. So Ido rents it to me. It's no the product. Mm. So you feel me? But like e- technically, if you really want to talk about it, Ido owns. I don't like to say it because then Ido's gonna get all the fucking gold diggers. And I don't want him to fall in love with one of you fucking bitch ass gold diggers. Hey, zoom in right hey, now. Hold on. One of you fucking hey, bitches. No, don't be trying to fucking get my brother because you know he owns everything. He does own everything, but fuck you. Look. All right. Fall yeah. in love with a good girl. You remember how I told you? Because, yeah, was, my brother is the man. You remember how I told you it was like a 20 minute session? Mm-hmm. So this, here's, here's another piece of it. Like. La puerta no quería abrir Mientras tú tocabas cuando me llamabas bueno pa insistir This is on my Twitter by the way guys Pedías la oportunidad pero ya tenías el plan Pues estabas terco siempre persistiendo hasta que di que tenía que esperar otra vez ¿eh? Okay. Right. Oh my god that's so cool. That's her like you feel her like and i know you know as an artist you know what i mean yeah. like even just rapper singer like i know you get it you know what i mean like what she's doing there yeah yo renuente a ti la puerta no quería abrir mientras tú tocabas cuando me llamabas bueno pa insistir Pedías la oportunidad, pero ya tenías el plan. Pues estabas terco, siempre persistiendo hasta que di. Que si tenía que esperar otra vez, ¿eh? Okay. That's so cool. Like, right? what the fuck, bro? Like, those little things. Yes. Like, even, like, the little imperfections are what make it so special. That's what makes it... it. It's like, yeah. And, and it's crazy because the Beatles, I don't know if you saw it, but like the Beatles just did like their last song like that. I love that. Yeah. So the Beatles, the Beatles, they just, um, there was like, uh, like five songs or something that Yoko, you know, who, you know, yeah. the Beatles story, yeah. right? So Yoko Ono, she gave them a tape recording of job of John doing like so many songs. And there was this one song called, um, Fuck, what's the song called? Oh my god, it just came out. Now and then? Now and then. There you go, there you go, there you go. So they just made this song called Now and Then, but they had been trying to work on it since the 90s. And mind you, um, George died in 2001. George, and he died in 2001, 2002, something like that. And But he recorded bass lines for that. But then finally, technology got like advanced to a certain like point where they could extract John's vocals. 
from now and then and then finally they were able to do it they just did this last year and so they expected john's vocals john and or not john uh paul and ringo are alive so they did that and then george is on the bass still because he recorded it in the 90s while they were still trying to work on it but technology wasn't advanced then you know what i mean so then they extracted his vocals finally so all four beatles are playing on a track finally so what we did there with mom was the same thing what they did and i was like oh my god i was so happy what they did with with now and then now and then is an amazing song guys i really think you should you should listen to that that's crazy i just yeah as an artist with a child i just can't imagine and obviously i'm having my own fucking feelings based on i can't imagine my child and you're so sweet and like everything you're doing that if my kid was working that hard to like grab what he can that's what makes me so sad that's why i cry because i'm just like oh my god to just think that like You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we're here and, and we live our life, but then to know that our children are just, like, working so hard to... Like, God I'm, bless I, I, you. I'm, like, I'm, oh just, I'm just passionate about my mom, like, as an artist. Like, anyone who knows me knows, like, how important that is to me. Of course. You know? And, like, it's just, like, I... um, It's important to all my siblings, but I feel like I have, like... You're the one. Such a connection to her. You're you know the I mean? one. You're the one. She was my reading my books. Mom, my she mom, was doing everything for yeah, you. My mom was the Aquarius moon, and I'm the Aquarius out of all her siblings. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's no, just, you're the it's one. something. So I love that. Like, my sister Jackie is a CEO, and she leads us with so much grace, but I, I help compile everything. You know what I mean? Like, I know everything from... Like the back of my hand. It's I fucking beautiful. So it's fucking beautiful. I I I love it so much. No. And I and then this is the first time I'm I'm like ever hanging out with you. I, we've met, but like this is the first time I'm hanging out with you, and I'm just like it's fucking beautiful. Like I love I love this. I love you. I love it all. I'm not collecting stones. I genuinely relate and love mm. it all. And that's it. Like the fuck. I love eat you, another potato. I'll eat another potato. <laughs> eat a potato. Yes. I'm drunk. I'm crying. It's fucking. What time is it? Three o'clock after Valentine's fucking what? day. All right. So we have a little bit of this bottle left. I'm hosting the Every Night Nights podcast by myself right now. Well, snow's in the bathroom. I'm pouring a shot for myself. Me fucking narrating everything I'm doing. <laughs> Low key, huh? I always be narrating shit like I'm Deadpool. Um, there's two shots. Wait, pause it. How many? Wait, how many gang signs did you just throw? I just threw up a West Side. That's all. It. That's all I threw up. <laughs> West Side on the Beatles. It's crazy. No, Hold you on. throwing up a West Side on the Beatles, bro. <laughs> I was crying, bro. You were for real crying? Because I'm telling her she wasn't she didn't see it, but no. I, yeah, of course. What you mean? That's a baby. His mom is a f legend, drinking on stage, doing what and he's telling me how he felt. Bro, I'm crying. I'm thinking like Bro, I'm the proudest. If baby Drew talk like, like him, bro. Like my mind, mind you, I, I am trying to like do my own thing as like a musician myself, but like I am so proud of just like Like if if for Stop, the Stop, you want to make me cry. Listen, like Stop. if 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 for the rest of my life like I was just recognized as her son, like I am so proud of that. Like I I am trying to make music just because like I I am trying to make music just for like myself, you know what I mean? But like no, I, I am so proud of just being her son. It is such an honor. And I'm so proud of what she's done, like, for women in the industry. Like, I I literally fight for that. Like, I literally just got into, like, a little, like, Instagram, like, debate. Um, I go Anyone up, who would battle you or debate you, but like I'll no, beat their ass. No, no, no. It's because, like, they were, like, because, like, I, I think, like, a woman just did, like, um, Gorgas Lombalos, right? But, like, I, I respect that because my mom started out doing Corridos. You know what I mean? And she, at one point, guys, like, I'm not even capping. My mom was the highest earning artist in regional at one point. Male or female. 
You know what I mean? So like, there's no reason to like, to like say that a woman could do corridos con balos. Whether it's like 15, 20 years from now, it's very possible for a woman to do that. You know what I mean? My mom did it for 20 years. And my sister is barely 10 years. And she's the one with most listeners out of like so many regional female artists. You know what I mean? I'm I'm just an advocate for regional female artists as in general. I'm lit as fuck, bro. And I'm I like, am as well, but <laughs> you made me cry twice, right? It was twice already that he's made me cry. One of them was so bad that I had to rearrange my makeup because I was like, you fucking bro. But I love it. I love that. I love that. To the point where, like, I, I identify him at this point with baby Drew that I texted your sister and I was like, why did you take my baby's studio time? And she's like, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Like, literally his sister responded. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Okay, like, wait, I didn't wait, know. wait, wait. But can I show you the song that I redid for her? Yes. Look, I'm going to show you a little bit. Right. So this Because is he the, told me. So the reason. This okay, is my we fate. Wanna do, wait, but you want to do a live with me on, on this. Yes, we're going to do that soon. We're gonna do and that we were very supposed soon. to, but he rescheduled because I'm he had sorry. studio time. I had studio time with my then Chiki stole it from me. All right. And then Chiki stole it. So I texted Chiki's and I was like, why you steal my baby studio time? And she's like, oh, I didn't know it was like studio. Okay. Right. Like, wait, guys. So I got his side on everything. Every argument is, with your siblings, just be like, I'm going to tell Snow and I'm going to go and this is, everybody's ass. This is off her first album, right? Your she mom. was still learning. She was trying to find her sound and everything. She knows who she is now as an artist. Oh, your sister? Yes. Okay, bet. So she did this song, right? Feliz de la Vida. This is my favorite fucking song. And I still love it like this. I still love it like this. All right, that's 40 seconds. Do you want to hear the new arrangement? Yes. I you made did this. the new? I did it with Luciano Luna. I, I knew what direction I wanted. I told him I wanted the tempo a little bit more up. But he knew it was going to be better th than ever. So he took her vocals from the demo version. And she's been re-recording re it. This is way better. This is Banda right here. DNA or quarter phase of the video already, okay? That's a puta man. Right? That accordion's like. You got a lesbian on the accordion, she said. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we right. But Yo, you're making me wanna yo my next tour? I gotta have some of this action. I need to have some some fucking accordion. I need to have some drums. Pinche tambora. Like, what the fuck? Like, my next tour cannot not have that. I'm getting inspired right now. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. This is really breakdown. That's it. This just made it happen. Johnny, help me with my next tour, bro. Look at him. Look at him. Bro. All right. That's all I can show. That's what I want, bro. Tell me that song isn't this shit. What? Why y'all laughing? My oh. vocal coach wrote that song. Why y'all laughing? Because my vocal coach, like Georgel, Georgel, Julio Reyes is <laughs> the shit. Yo, they, they 
They all just laughed because you said that's all I can show, and you showed the whole song. <laughs> I showed half of the that's song, song but like <laughs> that shit is amazing, right? But it's fucking fire, bro! Like, 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 like. If my next tour has all that, we gonna know that Johnny was over. It's cause, it's cause, like, it's. Okay, All that I, shit. I only had to do that because she waited so long to do the fucking song. Like, I've been waiting so long for her to record, re-record that song. You know how Taylor's been doing her, like, her, um, what's it called? Taylor's version? Yeah. You know how she's been doing, like, the photo shoots, but the same idea? Uh, yeah. I no. want her to do the same thing. That's me. I'm about to be on my next tour. No, but either way... <laughs> We about to be out here fucking wilding, bro. Do the, the same. Do it with some Fake Clan. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do, do it. Do it. Now. <laughs> lick it good. So like this pussy just like you should. Right now. Lick it good. Right? No? I agree. My neck. My, my back. Lick my back. No, say it. Say it. My neck. No, you do my it. My back. Lick my. Dick and my crack. <laughs> <laughs> Heard you. Now we out here. While yo, he stole my. He said, "Drink more water," and then he stole my water. Give me, give us, give us both more water, cause we out here. While I am actually glad that my my evening just freed up, because we deserve it. We deserve Honestly, it. I don't we think I don't think he expected this podcast to be as wild as it was. No, no, I did. Actually, really? I, actually, I'm ready for it to get wilder. To be honest, because we were talking about. Two people who have if I swung. Could, if I could, I could. Two be like people Prince. who have swung both ways. Yeah. I swing low. You swing low. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we want to talk low? about. What do you mean by low? I swing. <laughs> I don't swing low. I I'm swing letting, like. I'm letting all these bitches know I'm swinging low. I think it's equal. I think the, I think my little bit to the left, but I'm swinging low. You know I saying? think I'm equal. Shorty, swing my way. Right, sure, look good to me. I just meant it's big. That's all I meant. It's just swinging low. Me? Me? Oh, we're yeah. both big. <gasps> Period. In, yeah. In whatever aspect <laughs> you mean. And whatever aspect you mean, like honestly, Show I think. look good to me. <laughs> Cause I honestly, please, as a girl, she would. intimidates me. She, I'm, I'm bisexual, so she has big dick energy. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the fuck out of that. Say that shit again. Say that she has shit again, bitch. Right? Swinging her. Oh right? shit! And it's wet. Right? And it's the water is right? dripping. She has fucking level. She has big dick energy. Yeah. Down to my Air Forces. <laughs> anybody got any notes? Anybody got any notes? Does anybody want to have a cosign? Anybody in the room? Nobody? Nobody has nothing to say. Scratching your neck uh. is not a fucking cosign, bitch. <laughs> I think this is the best part. <laughs> 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 God, One, damn. two, three, four, five. All right. I think she has the best fucking box where my moderation out of ever. Be. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Damn, I'm going to remember that for the rest of my life. They asked you for a cosign and you ain't even give them a cosign? What do you mean? On my thrust game. On my thrust game? Because you could have said something, but you didn't say nothing. But I did say something. What? Her! Her? She say nothing. She's fired from the school. Who? Your aunt or, or no? Not my aunt. You think I'm my aunt? No, no. You know what? Change the subject. We not talking about my aunt right now. Me. Th- we not talking. Bro, where's my shot? Dame me. Oh, ya me tomé. Oh, ya no, 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 no. It's fine. It's fine. Bro, we finished two bottles, bro. All right. No. One. E- One. E- 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 <laughs> me choto. <laughs> oh my, yes, little child, he threw it on his chest Bro, your your shirt is more drunk than you right now That's not even a fact There's more tequila somewhere there Give I know the something. viewers are responding Pael I know, he has, Pael, I know she has more You're bringing more alcohol, bitch 
<risa> ¡Eh! Le dijo bitch a mi tía. I'm eh, sorry. Tía, partale su madre. Tío. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just like. She's like, I make your sister uh, chile relleno and you call me a bitch? <risa> I'm sorry. We're just very fucked up right now. <laughs> We are pretty fucking drunk. But I'm gonna say, my tia, what she's gonna want for, for brunch slut, she's gonna want um hombres muscle con, con un tuxedo thing. Right, tia? <laughs> Mi tia wants like <laughs> slutty guys, men. Guys, I know this is way more funner than Jade's or Spon or Jenica's podcast. I know this is way funner. You're right? Why are you talking shit about Janae, bro? <laughs> I'm not talking shit about either of He them. He said, I know this is funner than Janae's I podcast. Just know, I know. Janae. I you. do not give a fuck the way J Janae or Jenica do. Right? I mean, I look at that laughing at what you look at. That. I'm going to tell you the truth. <laughs> no, ya no le den, ya no le den, ya no le den. <laughs> hey, tú tómatela por él. <laughs> yeah. Es tú tómatela es, por él. Es ¿Tú hablas que, español? Es que yo soy más... Were you Mexican? Yeah. Oh, from where? What part? Michoacan. De los míos. Vali. Yeah. De los míos. Where are you? Wait, where is your family from again? So my dad's part is from my okay. I claim that part the most. Okay. You're But a Cora. My, You're a Cora. Okay. But And my then? mom's side okay. is from um, Hermosillo. Sonora. Hermosillo, Sonora. Right, Mi tía right, nació right. en Sonora. Siempre lo menciona. And then grandpa from mom's side is from Jalisco. Jalisco. Andale, yeah. Puros güeros. I claim the Nayeli side more than ever, though. Nayeli is a shit, bro. Nayeli. Arriba, pura Nayeli. <laughs> Yo, you're lit as fuck, bro. I am great. Bro, give me a water bottle. Here. Hand me a water bottle. I'm going to chug the whole... No, a, you need to chug that. Isn't that... <laughs> You chug that, I'm gonna chug mine. Ready? Ready? Porque we ain't going out like that. Oh, okay. One, two, three. <laughs> You're still chugging, I figured before you. Es agua, tía. ¿Cómo va? No, pues sí. O sea, Guys. Me la empino. Guys. <laughs> you have I'm so cute. excited to see this podcast. You have such an evil laugh. I know I do. <laughs> I'm like, hey, yo. <laughs> Bro. If I committed a crime with you and then you laugh like that, I'd, I'd second guess you. I'd be like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> like, why are you laughing like that? It's funny. Because I... Uh, like okay. All right. All right. So, good night, everybody. We love you so much. Even for the day ones. We love you. I love you. There's we're going to keep drinking and we're going to keep having a good time, but I don't want it to be live, all right? There so we might put some shit on here. We're going to edit it, piece it together. It's going to look there good. No. Hey, yeah, no, guys. No. You, you I guys, love you guys. Uh, Thank you so you guys much. Need to fall. Thank you. Shake it up and check the Richter. This a sticker. 